Welcome back, travelers, to The Broken Pact, the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica show? No, that doesn't sound right. The Avernus, one of many Avernus shows here on twitch.tv slash dnd and twitch.tv slash saving throw show. I am your Dante taking you through this inferno, <laughs> and these fine travelers are my players. Feel free to introduce yourselves. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jordan, and I play Astarok. For some reason, I'm, I'm having a really hard time like remembering each of the words that I'm supposed <laughs> mm -hmm. to say here this time. Huh. But he is a Minotaur fighter from the Boros Legion. <laughs> Sound it I out. Have Boros here, <laughs> but he's not in Ravnica anymore. <laughs> you really are so with there's words. no Boros okay? no more. You sound like a doppelganger. Do you need some water? Right. Yes, I am fine. This is not pre-recorded or anything. <laughs> I, am <laughs> a new, I am a new haircut man. Do not look really not. into the health of Jordan. <laughs> Yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey everybody, I am Riley Silverman and I play Velma Sweet, the half-elf uh, bard who was a member of the Demir Guild and also on Avernus. So what does that mean? Probably nothing. Hey everybody, my name's Grog <laughs> and I play Lucian Ladrian, a member of the Azoria Senate, which I'm sure also exists in Avernus, because they have to exist everywhere. There's always because lawyers in hell. There's, I'm sure there's plenty of lawyers in hell. And you know what? In a sense, we're really Dante here, and you're Virgil. Virgil. It's true. Oh. You're taking us through hell. That's fair. And hell. we're going like, whoa, what's that? Oh, what's that? Right. Did you just hell actually live in <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> My god. My name's Ashlyn Rose, and I play a Luxodon cleric uh, from the Selesnya Conclave, and her name is Tuturu. Tuturu! Nice. We'll um, always have hope as long as we can Tuturu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few announcements to get through tonight. Uh, let's start out with hashtag race into Avernus. Yeah. Use the hashtag race into Avernus wherever social medias are sold. Um, Dungeons and Dragons celebrates the launch of its latest storyline, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus with a charity war machine race. Five of your favorite shows on the D&D Twitch network are revving their infernal engines for extra life. Burn. The team that raises the most donations for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals by October 1st wins the race. And those show's characters will appear in a future D&D product for doing so, which is super cool. So sweet. Make us um, canon! Yeah, please. Uh, and not canon. C-A-N-N. Oh, okay. Our page yeah. has a bunch of incentive options, like putting your soul into a soul coin right here on the show, or you can instigate a body swap episode yeah. uh, in the future if uh, if you donate enough. And uh, so thank you so much for all of your donations already. Um, and please help us rocket towards victory at bit.ly, it's B-I-T dot L-Y, the bit.ly link, slash B-P underscore Extra Life 2019. And uh, you can see all of the D&D Extra Life team pages and information at dnd.wizards.com slash race dash into dash Avernus. But go to the Saving Throw Twitter and follow the link to get to our page and right. donate yes. money to our team. Yes. We're the best. And We're you can best. find it uh, probably in the doobly-doo off to the side, my guess. It's actually going to be over on this side, I think. So, yeah. Maybe in the it's chat. It's somewhere. You'll find, yeah, someone will point you in the right direction. Yeah, everything is going to be trying to point you to yeah. it. Yeah, make a survival <laughs> check Chat, to find the link. Read things around. Um, we'd like to thank our sponsors, uh, starting with CoolStuffInc.com, where you can get cool stuff in stock every day. Um, you can use the code BROKEN5 uh, for 5% off of your orders at checkout, thanks to Cool Stuff Inc. Uh, and they are our official guests sponsor for this season. And we have uh, we have two guests this season, which Yay. we'll get to uh, when, when, when they approach uh, closer. Uh, we'd also like to thank Norse Foundry, uh, the official dice of Saving Throw Show. You can use the code Saving Throw Show, that's all one word, Saving Throw Show, for 10% off your total orders at uh, norsefoundry.com. And we'd like to thank Elderwood Academy yeah. uh, for, uh, for their fine products. You can uh, visit Elderwood uh, Academy and see all their deck boxes and hex chests and all that great stuff as well. Uh, tomorrow, is the Throne of Eldraine Early Access streamer event. Oh boy! Which uh, I'm taking part in, as are the Mana Dorks. Well, yeah. just one of them. One of them. Some, some of us have to work in offices during uh, the day. So Garav's not gonna be there for that one. But um, Stephen Pope will. Yeah, Stephen Pope is gonna be joining oh, me. Stephen Pope. Yeah, he's yeah. great. 
and we're going to be playing some Eldraine. Mm -hmm. Are you? There's a possibility I'll be streaming in the night, not 100% sure. Sure. Check my Twitter to find out. <laughs> Great. And I will be on the, the, the Magic Mike's channel uh, from 3 to 6. Um, we're, we're swapping off our, like we always do for the Magic Mike's channel. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play. I don't have any deck lists yet, but nights, uh, nights, nights. nights. Everybody's playing. I think nights. I'm gonna play. Yeah. Obvious though. I nights think I'm gonna like play the... Green Black Adventures with the new Innkeeper. I like that because that guy's a one one that draws cards, so I like that. Well, I'll be at Disneyland. So. Nice. Oh, cool. <laughs> if also, you want to go to the where haunted the mansion and say is. hello. Right, where the real <laughs> magic is. Much better in this current meta game. Um, this episode so. is not sponsored by Disney. <laughs> sponsored by <laughs> everything. Disney. Yeah. Everything will be all Disney. We will all be Disney. <laughs> so, uh, without any further ado, we've got some interesting uh, development to get to here on Avernus, the Broken Pact. Season three, episode three, in the eye of chaos. Are we good? And those, those who are paying attention get to see a, a little bit of the, the magic that goes into the two true experience. It was like that Quick Muppets thing artists. where like Janice is like, and then I said I wouldn't take my clothes off for you or anybody. <laughs> you, you still have time while I read the uh, oh, the you. recap here, which to catch you up, the Broken Pact and their new friend Lulu the Hollyphant arrived at Fort Knucklebone. While there, the party learned much from Mad Maggie, the Wardlore leader of the outpost and the gang that operates it. They learned that they were now in Avernus, the front lines of the blood war between the demons of the Abyss and the devils of the Nine Hells. They discovered that they had a war machine called a Demon Grinder from another Warlord, a necromancer named Feanor, and that, the vehicle, operates on soul coins trapped souls embedded in metal discs and demon ichor. And they discovered, much, much to their chagrin, that finding a tree connected to Yggdrasil that might be able to take them home to Ravnica through the power of their shared connection, the World Pact, is going to be quite difficult in a place like this. They helped Lulu discover the cause of her memory loss, having been touched by the waters of the River Styx and recovered some of those lost memories on a dream quest, aided by Maggie herself. They further discovered that the River Styx is what brought them here from Innistrad, and that it connects many planes and is another possible avenue for leaving one day. Maggie told them that Lulu was one of the closest allies of Zeriel, a fallen angel who now runs the plane. Through the vision, Lulu recalled that she must get to a place not marked on their map called the Bleeding Citadel, though she doesn't remember exactly why and she thinks it's connected to a place that is on their map, called Haruman's Hill, though she doesn't know exactly how. But the party has her back, and they plan to help her on her quest to save El Terrell, whatever that might mean. <laughs> that that vote of friendship and their belief in her unlocked something else inside of her mind, a new power of a positive aura that the party does not yet know the purpose of. Maggie was more than helpful, granting all this information, shelter, food, and a night's rest. But as they say, there's no such thing as a free action, especially with hags, and especially in Avernus. Never trust an old lady. And the party <laughs> finds themselves owing Mad Maggie a bit of a favor. Yay. Maggie That's gave them time. a choice to help with some unusual and potentially dangerous chores, or enter the arena and have a bit of fun. And that, is where we pick up our action. 
I feel so, like uh, I, I feel like one day someone's gonna be like, "You're going to have to go on a bit of a dream quest." And we'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, we got it. Yeah, we've done <laughs> we're real good at these now." That a couple oh, times. another dream quest. Oh, it seems. Let's do this. All right, folks. Let's get down to the action. You stand I in a do rusted dream quest in my sleep. <laughs> so this is a rusted metal cage that you stand in. Uh, rebar, car doors, jagged shrapnel, and refuse that is about 130 feet on a side. Four pillars of scrap and chains are these boxes here. They reach up to the ceiling, which is 20 feet up. Uh, and it is capped. It's all fencing mm-hmm. on the top. So you are in a box. Okay. Um... You stand in a box marked by red paint or possibly something else, and you should place your minis wherever you would like in that red box over there. All right. When you say red box, is it like a room inside this place? No, it is a it is a marked line on the ground, like a like a football chalk line. That's probably not chalk. Nope. Um, now in the starting fine. lineup of the Avernus Broken Pact. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, uh, and across from you stands a huge, battle-ready, one-eyed giant that you know to be a Cyclops. It wields a massive great club, and it bears a brand on its chest, a devil's skull with horns. It looks very similar to the symbol of Mad Maggie's belt. You also see another figure, barely perceptible in contrast to the Cyclops. Uh, riding atop a parapet on the giant's shoulders, a homunculus in red robes on top of the cyclops in like a little, like a little basket. Traitor. <laughs> Crowds of people, humans and devils and everything else, crowd the outside and hang from the ceiling and chant, blood, 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 blood. A few of Maggie's cadre collect wagers in barter and the occasional coin from eager betters. Mad Maggie sits at a halfway point, ten feet up on the hood of her own demon grinder, front row seat for the action, Lulu sitting right by her side, which we'll say is right over here. And uh, an old hobbling devil person just behind her. The man, a humanoid, but with horns and a tail, raises his hands to hush the crowd. Welcome to another edition of Last One Standing. There are cheers and boos and yelling and the clanging, and there's music, there's drums, some strings. Um, The crowd cheers again before the man quiets them again. Welcome, welcome, we have a real treat for you today. So place your bets and keep your eyes peeled. Two parties enter, one party leaves. And the crowd begins to chant blood, 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 as the MC continues with the introductions. Introducing first, in the red corner, hailing from the mysterious Ravnica, coming in at a combined value of four good unburdened souls. Welcome, the challengers. Yay, some booze, some cheers. I'm like hamming it up, I'm like like, like healing it up. I'm like... Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. And as they introduce you, um, do any of you have any alterations that you've made to your uh, costuming since you've been in Avernus that you'd like to discuss or talk about? Well, uh, I, because I actually got one in real life, uh, have just taken a, a bit of the like loose armor that we have and kind of strapped it together, especially since my like Ravnican armor that I have hasn't mm-hmm. been able to be like kept up a- as much as it has been before, so I've replaced it with like a couple little pieces. Now I imagine the stuff that we've come here in is like started to get kind of like dirty and beat up. It's not yeah, like you've been back, here so. almost 24 hours at this point. Um and it's all been dusty and gross and you've fought and you've landed in a crater. So it's not great. Yeah. I'm still wearing what I was wearing last week, which is basically what I have on now. Uh, but I do have my goggles down. I can't really in-game because they're like almost cool. not see-through. Uh-huh. But they're down for the... Nice. Sure. Because it's dusty and stuff, so... I'm just holding out hope that I will last in this uh, outfit until we get back to Ravnica. All your clothes case. are dry clean only, so... Yes. <laughs> very dry clean only. It's very dry, not so clean. Yeah. 
Uh, we're used to kind of getting our uniforms dirty. We're, it's it's not really a big deal unless it's not usable anymore. So perfect. Yeah. Fine. yeah it, it, if a Celestian like doesn't have some dirt on them, it's like, well, what have you been doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot like Toph from Avatar. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And in the redder corner. The champ, your champions and mine, the death knell from the Nine Hells, the Terminus in Avernus, Okan and Zindersplut. Yay! Wait, what? Yeah, that's why I was like, I know where this wait, is going. You know wait, wait a minute. I'm so sorry, Riley. <laughs> it's not the gathering card from Battle One. Um, They're very cool. The man uh, points a hand at the Cyclops They're and not that cool. the homunculus, <laughs> and they nod, and they look ready to go. Then they point a hand in your direction. Oh, uh, uh, just, uh, can I go up, can we meet them before we start this battle, or? Make a wanna, persuasion check. I'd just like to shake their hand and say, mm? have Introduce a good fight. Uh -huh. yeah. When are you going to figure out what this place is? In the box. Yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna be that sort of fight, Lucian. Uh, it's a 16, I believe? What? These are like the Rakdos. You don't just... They, they, imagine that we're in a Rakdos ping den. But I, I just want to make a good impression. We're just having a friendly competition here, and uh, they could be allies in the future. You don't Do you that? remember? Yes. Oh. We have people like this. I'll give you a moment. All right. Just, just wait right here. I just want to say hello. The man turns to Maggie, and uh, Maggie gives the nod as well. Okay. So I'll just walk up there. And uh, he's going to get his kid. The Cyclops will hey. walk up and sort of stand in the middle as well. I guess let blue do blue things. Sure, I guess. Uh, hello, yeah. I uh, just wanted to say uh, have a have a good match, have a good fair match. Uh, so with the shake, you just grab he'll my. Extend a finger. Oh. And like you can shake his finger. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, yes. Uh, best of luck. Uh, as I'm walking back, can I look over to Maggie and just message to her and be like, this, this is a friendly competition, right? This isn't to the death? Oh, it's to the death. We have doctors, though. Uh, I don't think we agreed to this. Can we Can we just stop for just a moment? I think there's a miscommunication between what why we're here and why... I'm sure they didn't agree to this either. Oh, they absolutely agreed to this. Okay, well, that makes a little more You'll sense. You'll be fine. I have faith. Hey. Hey, uh, th it's to the death. I, 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 did, I didn't know this before we signed up. I thought it was just a, a friendly, you know, uh, yeah. good old romp, but yeah, well. turns out it's not. Well, then I guess we'll have to kill them faster than they kill us. No, no, don't, do not kill them. What are you doing? No, no, do not kill. Well, you said it was a fight to the death, right? Yes, but we're better than that. We're gonna show, we're gonna show this hellish place how we do things in Ravnica. All right. Don't kill. I mean, I mean, people kill people in Ravnica. I don't know what plan. I don't know what plane you no, thought we were living on. Not but in friendly competitions, maybe this isn't a friendly competition, Lucian. When are you going to understand that? Well, we can turn it into one if we are the friendlier side. The way your plan. Look, look, Maggie stands on the roof of her truck, and she holds her hands up to the people. Welcome to last one standing. And she will pick up a hammer. You have about six seconds to do something if you want to do something before she. there's a bell behind her. <sighs> I mean, I'm gonna try and take him out. If, if we can help, if we can not kill him, we'll do it. I immediately fan and send Astrolock Bark inspiration. Great. Because I know he's gonna need it during this combat. Cool. And then I will hashtag bless the three of them. Yay! Oh, bless! <laughs> now, to clarify, you also still have Artie on yeah. your shoulder. Yeah. I mean, she can run around during the fight, but right now she's on my shoulder. Okay. So I have I have higher perception right now than I would normally have. Ding, ding, ding! Roll for initiative. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. Well, that didn't go great for the Cyclops. Bless doesn't get counted as initiative rolls, does it? Hmm? We don't, we don't add bless to initiative rolls, do we? I think it's any d20 uh, roll. Let's find out. No, I think it's just... I think it's attack rolls. I think it's attack rolls uh, and saving throws. Yeah, it's attack rolls and saving throws, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, 20 and higher. I got a 13. Oh, wait, 20 and higher. <laughs> what am I saying? Sorry. Well, you really can't use words. Though. I've had a long day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just want to say, Sorry. I'm really excited for this. I'm looking forward to it all week, and I, I can't wait to do it. Uh, <laughs> 20 to 15. I got an 18. Ooh, look at Lucian. Look at the, look at the big decks on Lucian. <laughs> 15 to 10. 13. 13. 
What's your dex? 13. It is uh, 14. Okay, so you beat me. Okay. You get, Wait, no, mine's 14 as well. Yeah, I was gonna say you both rolled the same. You last go ahead of me, Adam. <laughs> so okay. yeah, usually uh, the way that I've done it in the past, if you guys don't decide, which you're on the same team, so you can decide. Yeah. The second tiebreaker I do is intelligence. Hmm. So you probably have me beat on that. No, I don't actually. I'm not as smart as you think of it. Oh, I do. I have a 10. I have a 10. <laughs> I have an 11. Oh, yeah. But I, since I just gave you inspiration, I'll let you go ahead of me because I kind of did an action already. Perfect. Sure. Um, so that was 15 to 10. Um, and that is going to be 10 to 5. I have 8. Okay. Or no, sorry, I have 6. So that's going to go like so, like so, and like so. Okay. I have my folks ready. My, let's see. I found my murder hobos pencil in my trunk the other day. Shout nice. out to the, the murder hobos D and D group here in LA. Cool. That's a bunch of the Titmouse animator guys too. Oh. Um, Dope. Just uh, just drop that name while I'm here. <laughs> uh, so here you piece of here. I dropped it. So I dropped it. Oh, let me let me let me deal with that real quick. It. You have to eat it. That's where it came from. All right. Is a cyclops a humanoid? Probably not. I would assume not. I think it is actually. Make an intelligence. I mean, I'll let you do this in the like... action before, like in that six seconds. You can look at the cyclops and decide if they're a humanoid. Yeah, because I've probably read a lot about Cesarum or whatever his name mm -hmm. is. Cesarzum, yeah. Cesarzum, uh, that's an eight. Mm. It's got two hand, two arms and two legs. Yeah, it's probably a human. Okay. <laughs> Lucian, you're up first. Humanoid, thank you. Okay, uh, I will walk my max speed, which is... 30, okay. straight up uh, to as close to them as I can get. Right there. And I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians. Ooh. I call forth spirits to protect me. They flit around me to a distance of 15 feet for the duration. Around you. So you 15 say. feet around me. If we had like a. So like. They so move, they, they move, they move with, me. with you. Yeah, so I wouldn't put that down. Just remember that it's okay. like three faces sure. in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I want to figure out how to do that, but yeah, anyway, keep going. So, uh. When you cast a spell, you can designate any number of creatures that you can see to be unaffected by it. So I will choose the three of you to be unaffected. Nice. Awesome. Everyone else. About, I don't know if that's. This is like cool and cinematic. But sure. I, I don't cool. think it's actually. I think that's like ten. Feet Seems something. about right. Yeah. So it's close. It's close enough. Um, so you'll see like magic runes of the Azorius pop up all around me, and through that come. Oh, I love uh, that. Uh, spiritual owls that uh, surround me and start flitting around. Oh. Um, they would be very different if this was if I was evil, but I'm not. But mm. also, I don't know how hell would change this spell. That's true. I don't so, know if this is in the list of affected spells. I feel like this is an easy one to be in there because it's like it's Let's... either angels or uh, demons or something if you're evil. So it's like, right. what uh, is it in hell? You know? The altered spells list spirit does not guardians. include spirit guardians. All right, nice. well, you can change it if you'd like, but that's what it is for now. I think it makes sense so that you like bring the spirit yeah. of the Azorius. You with brought, you. yeah. You can take the 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 cleric out of Ravnica, mm -hmm. but you can't take the Ravnica out of the cleric. I do have proper permit to cast the spell if anybody wants to look. I and so the to... three the three pillars of New Prov sort of yeah. spiritually Don't, rotate yeah, around cool. you. Uh, and that's your action? Uh, that is my action, yeah, it's Great. a whole spell. So uh, if they get in that, uh, basically, should I tell you what happens, or wait until they get there? Wait until they get there. Cool. Cool. Astaroth. Uh, okay, um, I actually, can I, since he has the Spirit Guardians up, can I just ready the action to charge him as soon as he hits the, like, barrier of the Spirit Guardian? Sure. Okay. You can ready a charge, you can't ready your move. Okay. So what you would do, is you have an action, you have a bonus action, and you have a move. Right. You can hold your action, and with your action, you can dash. Sure. With your dash, you can charge as part of that, but you're not gonna get the full double move out of that, if sure. that makes sense. Yeah, so if you wanna move, fine. if you wanna use your move and then hold later, yeah, I'll let so you do that. Actually, I'll move up so that I'm like basically like by Lucian. 20, 25, I can put you there. Yeah. I, Astaroth comes out into the middle of the battlefield next to Lucian, who has these like things swirling around him, and is like, "All right, I'm back in your play, Blue. Let's hope this works out." Right. Uh, and we'll just kind of get down into like he's ready to charge position. Cool. Sounds great. Like only a Minotaur can. <laughs> nice, uh, Velma. I'm gonna move to the other side of the Spirit Guardians section. Um. This side or this no, side? No, this side, yeah. This like, side. basically, yeah. like, Five, flanking, 10, basically, 15, like, stand on your 20, guild. 25, 30, 
30? Uh, no, I'm going to be in the spirit. You want to be in the spirit. Why would I not I'm just protect asking. myself? <laughs> we'll rotate the spirit guardians so that you're in it. Oh, nice. Perfect. And you're on yours, too. Yes! Oh, yes. Hey, yes, we did it! That's actually awesome. That's perfect. Uh, and then I'm going to look at this big, ugly uh, Cyclops, mm -hmm. and I'm going to look at all those lovely chains and metal bracers that he has all over mm -hmm. himself, and I am going to cast Heat Level as a third level spell. Wow, uh, I love so it. So I'm going to need this big, big, big boy to make a, a uh, Wisdom saving throw. He's not particularly wise. Yeah, but your dice was evil. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Natural 20. Natural 20! What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm the literal devil. Okay, so he <laughs> saved. Also, he did wait, save. did we get any okay. stuff from the race yet? Oh, let's let's check. Ooh. Hashtag not, race. I mean, we can't make him reroll this no, stuff. No, we can't. But extra. This stuff could we be We should have made a life. thing where we can make him reroll something. I know. That's, that's like, he is some. Ruben has made a deal with some sort of devil in Inverness oh. to roll better. I know, I know. Just it's against crazy. He even brought his own dice this time, because last time it was my dice, and I told Let's him see. I wasn't going to give him my dice. I was going to give him a different set of We've dice. We've got a couple week. of hundreds in here. we got a 50, yeah. we got a 25. Yay. You know what? I'm glad he burned his 20 on a saving throw. <laughs> Let me see. That's true. That's true. That could have been a nasty attack. By the way, thank all of you. Thank you, all of you who have already donated for this. It's a great cause. I'm waiting. You don't save on this roll anyway. Oh. Yeah, it just heats it, You right? save on your next turn. All right, I'm going to save that for later then. You told me to roll a... D okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do I What do I take? I, you take 3d8 fire damage. Dope. And then... Uh, Ship it. And uh, you, on your on your next turn, on, on Ogre's next turn... Mm -hmm. What's his name again? Sorry, the Cyclops. You can just call it Cyclops. Ocon. Ocon. On Ocon's next turn, then he will roll, and then we'll, I'll tell you what happens if he succeeds or not. So. Okay. He takes damage now or later? Yeah, he takes damage now. Nice. Uh, Do it. He takes uh, just for clarification, the homunculus that's up in the uh, catbird seat mm -hmm. uh, is difficult to see. You might think that he probably has three quarters of himself covered. Ah. Um, he is also not touching metal. Okay. Uh, Ocon and Zindel Split won me and Garav a magic game the day that we met nice. with you guys, actually. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah, go look up Ocon and Z-N-D-R-S-P-L-T. They're wonderful cards. They okay, are. so that is going to be, right now he's going to take nine fire damage. Yikes. Oh, and that's going to do it for my turn. Very uh, nice. We will do some more fun stuff later. All right. Um... That means that it is now Xander, Zinder Split's turn. Zinder Split for the turn uh, is going to cast a first level spell that you, want, that you sort of recognize. Okay. Make a, actually make an Arcana check before you see what what this is. Okie dokie. Uh, I think it's only a ten. Mm, you vaguely recognize what what Zinder Split's casting. Okay. Are you doing anything? Uh, no, okay. not at this moment. Response? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Does it well, resolve? He's got counter spells. So that's oh, why I'm doing. Right. I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> the uh, the spell uh, resolves, and you sense that there is some sort of uh, otherworldly sheen around Ocon now, and you believe that he has the spell Sanctuary cast upon him. Ah, Sanctuary. Sanctuary. sanctuary! Uh, Tuturu. Yep, that's me. Sure is. Um, I'm yeah, gonna move forward with right. the rest of the. Who's next to me? Oh, it's a cat. Okay. That's <laughs> like, yeah, we can, Arthur's on my so shoulder. So you should take, move. Yeah, we can take Arthur, Arthur off the field because she's on my shoulder. Yeah. So you should move over to the side that I'm on. Yeah. Because then you could sit properly on your guild symbol as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Riley's not on her guild symbol. Yes, yeah, she, she is. is. Isn't she Demir? Orzov, Demir. Which one do you want to be on? Uh, I am. Uh, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> how dare? Why would you play back on Orzov? <laughs> I was never actually Orzov. That's fair. <laughs> All right. At this so point, I, I can only apologize. Symbol. I like to imagine you're on your guild symbol. How do you put her back on Orzov after I realized what you were doing? I'm I'm the worst. I like to imagine as we walk into like the Guardian Spirits, like it reacts to our guild affiliations yeah. and like yeah. <laughs> changes around us. One owl yeah, turns into an angel. One turns into like a what's that? Sp a spy bug. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's and then right. One turns into just uh, a flying squirrel. I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> squirrel. Um. Hmm, what do I want to do? I think for now I will just, I'm going to cast, what is my cantrip? Uh, Sacred Flame. Okay. Oh, it's a deck save. I'm going to do it on the little, what's its okay. name? Uh, Zinderspult. Zinderspult. So it does have three quarters cover. 
So it's oh, armor class is, a... it's going to be tough to hit to, oh, is this a saving throw? Dex saving throw. You can see it. Yeah. So uh, I will let you do that, and I will do a dex save. That's a one. Woo! All right. So that will be radiant damage. I think it's one d four. Mm-hmm. Sacred flame, what are you? Sacred flame. I summon me. Uh, yeah, one d eight, even better. There it is. All right. That's a d six. And of course, oh, the other uh, metal. Yeah. That is around you is all around you. So. Six. Nice. Six damage. Six what do you mean? Uh, the uh, the outside is all like rebar. Well, oh, I didn't stuff. cast. Yeah, I know. Every metal. I have no, no, the no. metal. I'm just letting you metal. know that there is <laughs> there is that would more be a real metal. powerful spell. Oh, yeah. was, <laughs> You're just in a microwave. <laughs> yeah, cast a rock. <laughs> no, uh, his uh, his axe is made of wood and and uh, right. an animal. Yeah. It's yeah. now gonna be Okan's turn. Okan. Oh, and I'm gonna guard as my action. That was. Oh, okay. Sure. Okan is uh, going to see this magic that has floated up, is going to walk over to one of these c- crates over here, and is just going to chuck it right at Lucy. Um, yeah! <laughs> uh, I guess this spell doesn't really affect c- crates. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, oh. That's a natty twine. Someone just get away from uh, you. Uh, You've rolled well so far. Why are you throwing it away? It did good. You, you asked me to get rid of it. No, I didn't. I did. Oh. You <laughs> get away from him. <laughs> we are screwed. Eight, nine, 11, 12, 13. Well, I was looking forward to well, this. Well, I only rolled a 13 on my 4d10. Nice. So that's you're going to take. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's. Really lucky. Yeah, that's yeah. actually really lucky. So you're gonna take what is that? That's uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twenty-six, uh, thirty-two bludgeoning damage. Cool. And I assume, uh, I assume a, a concentration save to keep yeah, concentration. So, so we're, we're sitting there, and it's like, oh no, thirty-two. We'll wait for him to come to us. <laughs> Don't rock. Worry. I'll protect you. <laughs> oh, 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 boom! Oh, on his turn now, he must make a constitution saving throw. Right. All right, change of plans. Because that might affect things. Okay. Yeah. He will. He is unable to take his armor off. But here's the thing. Uh huh. I can't undo it now. We, he should have done it at the top of this turn. Yeah. But that does mean he has disadvantage on all attack rolls until the start okay. of my next turn. I can. I can. That's up to you. If you, I don't. Yeah, I don't I'll take it. I'll take it. That's unfair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I, I say we stick with the natural yeah, twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, that was on me for not <laughs> cool, telling cool, you to do it ahead of time. No worries. I also but, like the image of Lucia just getting <laughs> yeah. hit with. The, yeah. Hey, who said <laughs> sure. you won? <laughs> but that uh, means that he still has them because basically. The, con- the saving throw is to see if he's able if if he's able to get his armor off. Got it. And if not, he's still hurting from the damage. Cool. Okay. Um. So you've taken a, a, a thirty-two damage, haven't you? Yep. I need a constitution, uh, a, a yeah. concentration. Sorry about that, Lucian. Check. Yes. Uh, that was me for yeah, not taking sixteen. Yeah, I believe it's a sixteen. I think yeah, it's, it's half the damage. It's Ten or half of the damage you take, which is whichever number is higher. Yes. So sixteen. Is this is a saving piece. throw? Or this no? is a saving throw. It is. Oh God. Well, Constitution get, saving. Don't forget you're blessed. Aha, I rolled a 17. Oh, so you perfect. maintain your guardians. Uh, cool. With or without the bless. Cool. Great. And, uh, no break, though. but you, you sure did take a face full of crate. Oh, yeah. Top yeah. of the round. Lucy. Oh, it's me again. Great. Yeah. Hmm. You know what we'll say? Because you had a 20 and a 7, so we'll just say, like, the 20 meant that he didn't get disadvantage on that attack, mm. but he still has the armor on. Sure. He can, he Works for out. me. Yeah. So does he take damage on my turn, or just on your turn? I can, I can now, on my turn, as a bonus action, play that metal up. Every, and here's a question for you as a DM before we move on to Lucian's turn. The card says, until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your turns to cause this damage again. Yeah. I've had DMs roll it where whatever I rolled the first time is always the same, or no, do I re roll every time. time? That's what I like to do, yeah. but. Nice. Roll the dice. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, this one is also I concentration. I have a lot of concentration it's great. spells. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to cast. This isn't concentration. I'll do this. Um, wow, that Cyclops has some really good eyesight. Be. A shame if someone got rid of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and blind it. Ooh, what what kind of save is that? This is a uh, constitution. He has a lot of those. How does 18 do? Yep, yeah, that will uh, pass my... Pass muster? That'll do it, I'll okay. allow it. All right, you see good. Uh, I am going to... I don't know if I... I guess I shouldn't move you guys or... Well, you guys can move after me. You guys go after yeah. We are blessed as well, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna move back maybe two steps. Okay. And the others of your party are going to remain where they are. So we'll scoot you with your aura back a bit. Like so. All right, cool. Uh, that's my turn. Astarok. Uh, sorry, Blue, I thought he'd come to us. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I guess we'll so. take it to him. Uh, uh, and I will charge him and just start whacking. Yeah, man. Chop him down. All right. Bigger they are, the harder they fall, I hope. Okay, so first attack with the big ol' axe. That is a uh, 19. Uh, 19 hits. Hooray! That's 1d12 plus 6. Wait, 19's a crit? Oh, that was, sorry, not 19. Yeah, 19 it was a dirty total. 19. JK, I got really excited. <laughs> I, I appreciate your excitement. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so that is 12 damage from the first attack. Okay. And then second attack comes in, swinging under, and that is a 17. Uh, 17 hits. All right. And that is 10 more damage. All right. Bacon, taking big old chunks out of his kneecaps. <laughs> you come up to about his waist. Big burly dude. Uh, and he is he is none too pleased. Yeah, you boo boo most want to be. <laughs> well, that'll make him enraged. <laughs> yeah. Does he even know what that means? It, maybe, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Velma. But he gets the seems tone. Ma- seems mean anyway. It's like when you're talking to a dog, it's more about like the tone of what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. True. First off. I am going to move into the Spirit Guardians again. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to fire off a pair of Eldritch Blasts at the Homunculus. Okay. Um, uh, its armor class is plus five presently. Okay. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and roll. Uh, do I have a disadvantage or anything on that? Or nope. just, okay, just a Full cover, I think, would be disadvantage. Okay. But this is um, just plus five. Okay, hang on. But he can still, I'm gonna roll that. He can my, still peek out. It's hard to roll these and the D4s at the same time, so I'm gonna okay. roll them separately. So these are those, and these are. Okay, so yeah, this one is gonna be for this one. This one's gonna be for that one. Okay. So for that one. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So. That is going to be a 19 plus 8, so that's going to be 28. That'll and hit. this one is going to be a 6 plus 8, which is a 13. 13 will miss. Okay, the I figured as much. Did you do the blast without the yeah. Okay. yeah, Yeah, I added the bless plus my, uh, my, my attack. But the 70 billion will hit. Yeah, so oh. that one's going to hit. Okay. So I will go ahead and fire off that one. That's going to be just a 10. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to flare. Okay, that's going to do 7 fire damage to the other. Uh, Force damage to the homunculus. Okay. So you see me fire these blasts off, and they kind of make like a couple of tones, and like it kind of sounds reminiscent of like when you heard Velma singing Arthur's song, but like the music behind it, like mm-hmm. you kind of hear that tone cool. in this blast. One, but she fires both off, but one kind of like misses and kind of goes between mm-hmm. the like club and the homunculus. The other one hits him square on, and that's actually some pretty good damage. Awesome. And then she looks at the um, the big nasty, and she kind of goes like this, and then I'm gonna roll my damage again. Sure. Flare that metal. Really into this one. This is super fun. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. So that's ten plus eight. It's eighteen. Eighteen mm. fire damage. Wow. Ooh. Big beastie. Wow. I, I that's this. a lot of damage. Huh? Yes. Oh. Yeah. I have. Yes. We both. Oh yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> important. Yeah. I that would have been thought. sanctuary on the cyclops. I would have needed uh, wisdom saves, but since I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. Let's to see. target it with Eldritch Blasts. <laughs> oh, oh, because and with, he had... And with chopping it down. Because he has um, Oh, God. Oh, that's, 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 that's why he had the plus five. No, that was on the homunculus. That's because he's hiding. He's so the small. homunculus yeah. has... Okay, his coverage. Right, but but the axe attacks should have been wisdom saves, Got which it. I forgot to do. Now Those we'll are remember. fine. Okay. Uh, the axe attacks should have been wisdom saves. Um, thank you, chat. Uh, uh, and now it will be the homunculus's turn. The homunculus sees that his friend just got hit by some damages, uh, and that he's well, not too pleased. Got hit by damages. What, so did the, so oh, the Cyclops. Sorry. He got hit by Astrox. Yeah, and the Cyclops uh, got hit by some damages, and uh, so uh, the homunculus thinks to themselves, hmm, that sounds like I could use some cure wounds oh. uh, on that. We so got a let's, healer! <laughs> let's, get some, let's get some cure wounds going. We've got three! Oh, oh, them! Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, two, because I, um, I don't care um, much for it. <laughs> we'll cast cure wounds. 
Will you though? Will I? Will you? Let me know. No. No? <laughs> I don't like it. Right. I don't like it. Okay. Illegal. Illegal move. Oh. Time out. Bruh. So no you're countering life. Wait, that, mean, that, means, that means we, then we can't. <laughs> right. What's so that? That means then, if you're saying it's illegal, then we can't cure. cure. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the homunculus yeah. does the cure wounds hand signals, and psh, nothing happens. <laughs> that's that's awkward. Um, that is awkward. And uh, and uh, yeah, so mark that off on your, oh, your you spells. Don't to, they don't have to have to roll for oh, that. Oh, I see. Well, it depends on what level you cast that. So I cast it at first level. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah. Then so it's fine. Negated. Oh, what's that? Straight up negate. What is that? Counterspell. Oh, counterspell. Gotcha. Yeah. That's so good. Just just love counterspell. Love Straight, love love regular counterspell. old counterspell. Uh, OP counterspell OP. Good good use for it though. Yeah. Uh yeah, and that's 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 its turn. Um, to true. Well, uh, I'm gonna look back at Lucian, see how he looks, which I'm assuming is not great. Taking a crate to the face. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I will be fine. D d deal with them. Don't worry are about you, me. Are you sure? Yes. You just I, took an entire crate. I'm okay. I, I I'm a little dirty. Uh, don't know what was in that crate, but it did not. Uh, you know. Explode well on me, okay. but I'm um, fine. Don't worry about me. Let's just deal with that. Good, as long as you say so. As I fish off my spiritual weapon, uh, I will. I'm gonna move forward. What do your little owls do? Is that just for you? It's for yeah. It's within 15 feet of me. 15. It does nothing oh. to us. Us. Oh, okay. It's, got a, it. it's just for bad guys coming near me. Oh, gotta go. Got okay, yeah. I'm gonna step forward. Five. 10, 15, perfect. I mean, it yeah. does say for us in that if they come into the safe while we're standing there, we are protected. We're not protected, right. but it, it can't come to right. us. Right. Am I still hit. in the safe square? No. You're, you're, so this is the safe oh, okay. space. It's Never slightly mind. bigger than that. I'll be back in the safe space. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in a safe space. All right. <laughs> I will summon my sacred flame. Okay. Nope, just kidding. I will summon my spiritual weapon. Yes. There we go. That's what I was looking Great. for. Yay! <laughs> spiritual weapon. Yes. Yeah. Right. What's it look like? Uh, this one is going to look like um, a warhammer. Um, and again, it has like the Selesnia tree kind of wrapping around the handle, nice. and then it Hand clamps that, onto uh, it and with like vines. Thank you. And put it right here. Oh, oh yes, yes, I thought yes. You were giving inspiration. I know. I was like, what's happening? Wow. No, I just, I'm just giving you the, the sun for your spiritual weapon. Love it. It is now in place. And then I'm going to try to attack things with it. Okay. Is really what are attack you attacking? Picture. The little one. The little one. Um, what is its name? It's Zunderspult. Zunderspult. I will attack Zunderspult. Zunderspult. Great. Monculus. Awesome. Um, uh, it does have three quarters cover. Oh, oh, so I get disadvantage, right? No, it's just a plus five to armor class. Okay. I'm gonna hit the full face. full cover, I think, is disadvantage, and you can't target it with ranged spells or something. I don't know what it is. I think it's full cover. You can't target it at all, but yeah, I don't think it makes a difference in melee. I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna use another D8. And oh, I have to do an attack. This first. is like melee at ranged, though. You know what I mean? Boop. Sure. Ooh. No! Nope. Wait, wait do we, do we have a double reroll? But well, you do get this. We, we have oh. some rerolls. We have some devil's rerolls. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Yeah. You want to make our first it. devil's reroll? If you give us $20 on our extra life page, the party gets a reroll to use on any d20 roll, but beware, if they fail this roll, the consequences will be dire. All right, fail us in like another one. Right, we gotta take it. I'm <laughs> yeah, easy one. Thing. We gotta yeah. try it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, devil's reroll going. Ten plus. Oh, and your don't forget your don't forget your. Uh, oh, you don't have less on yourself. I don't have less. Everyone else is blessed. Right. You can't um, bless yourself. No, I can't. Um, how do I do this? Do I add my since it's a magical weapon? Do I add my sure normal it. attack or do I add my magical? It should add your wisdom bonus. It's your spell attack. Your spell okay, attack. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, then I will add. That's pretty much your wisdom and proficiency put together. Uh, so, it would be four, what would perfect, so six, seven? So it would be 17, yeah. 17! 17. 17 is going to miss. No. Oh, because it's plus five! Three yeah. quarters cover. Ah. So the it swings. Consequences. So the he consequences. Ducks. Zinder split ducks into his crate and goes, what? I'm not, not, can't hit me! And uh, not not able to hit him with the Warhammer, the magic Warhammer. Ah, Zinder splits. What are our consequences, or her consequences? I um, I have it written down on my paper. I'll figure it out later. Oh, oh, Great. okay. We're, 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 we're gonna later. build up consequences. It'll, it'll okay. happen at a dramatically appropriate moment. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, it is now the Cyclops' turn. The Cyclops, boy, it has a nice juicy target directly in front of it. Yeah, juicy. Yeah, come um, on. <laughs> uh, don't say that. <laughs> it's gonna, uh, does it wanna stay there? Yeah, it's gonna move. Oh wait, yes. before it does anything, mm -hmm. okay. roll Constitution oh, save Constitution throw. save. 
Okay, so a it's lot. saved. So. so does that mean it's over, or? Um, it has the choice. If it wants to take its armor off, it can. Okay. If it doesn't, I can keep damaging it on all my turns, and it's okay. at disadvantage. Does it have to do an action to take its armor off? Um, it doesn't say. Uh, hang on. Uh, maybe. Let me let me look at it. Real I quick. would say it can like shed its little tiny bits of armor. Um, let me see. What all it I says mean. is, if it it says that. Must see no saving throw or drop the object if it can. I think because I don't think that the, the Cyclops is wearing very much. Oh, I think yeah. because I think I, no, I think because it passed. I can still keep doing my thing, but it doesn't have disadvantage because I think basically what it's saying is it's able to keep withstanding the pain. Sure, I will say uh, this says that it's wearing natural armor and it does not look to be wearing a ton of metal. Okay, I will say that the little metal that it was wearing, it can shed. Okay, so it has no metal on it anymore, so even, it'll, even it'll, with the bracers and everything? Yeah, it's not wearing metal. Okay, so I can't use, I mean, I had the spell active, I can't use it anymore, got it. I mean, e yeah, I mean, it's, uh, okay. it dealt it damage until it saved, and okay. then it's it's gonna rip cool. its, like, yeah, car fine. door armor totally. off. Yeah. You could, like, lower its AC a little bit. Sure, mm -hmm. I'll do that, I'll lower its, I'll lower its AC. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take off. Yeah, uh, that's actually really good. I'll take off. I'll take off. AC that's, that's a big reason why you. Works for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Tear the, the armor off, <laughs> and now it's going to take two great club attacks at uh, Astaroth. Come on, beat on. Uh, that's a two on the dice, which is an eleven, and yeah. a nineteen on the dice, which is a twenty-eight. Well, that'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's going to be fine. <laughs> three d8s of damage. Sorry, Red. I can't counterspell uh, this. <laughs> 21 bludgeoning damage as the Great Club smashes down uh, and it takes a big chunk out of the side of, uh, uh, or not a big chunk of, but hits a big chunk of slab of beef on, on the side of Astaroth. The first one comes down and misses me, and Astaroth's like, what, that all you got? And the next one hits it, I'm like, oh, okay, that was it's pretty like, good. Nope, that isn't all he's got. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, oh, that was a solid one. <laughs> okay, and he is going to reposition himself there without leaving your area of attack, making it difficult for anyone else to see you. Uh, top of the round, Lucian. Oh boy. He's got his butt showing to you now. Yeah, if only I could take advantage Can't of that. Can't see your buddy. <laughs> uh, hmm? Do we get to see, like, now that he's turned around, how is the homunculus? Yeah, how covered is he now that he's Um, probably just half cover from the back. You can probably see the homunculus's butt. Like, from is this it, point. so it's not in, like, a pouch or it's not carrying? No. So it's, it's totally in sort gone. of like, you know, the, the oliphants in Lord of the Rings, how they had those little houses on top of the, the whole oliphant that the elves sat in? It's like that. It's like a crow's nest. Oh, okay. okay. On, on Okan's shoulder. Got it. Okay. Here's what I want to do I want to run up to him and climb him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want to be sure. I want to be on that nest. Dope. I love it. I um, want to be your child. <laughs> so these are these will go here, and you're gonna. So all right, I'm just I have to get rid of this. That's fine. Um, just remember, it's 15 feet all around. It's 15 me. feet all around you, and you're gonna try Wait, to climb. If yes. Lucian is on him, and they start their turn within the spirit guardians, so they get attacked by spirit guardians. Yeah. Cool. He's within the Yikes. range of that. Point. Oh which I wouldn't have. I wish I wouldn't have said that. Uh, when oh, you cast a spell, yeah, yeah, effective user speed is halved in this area. When the creature enters the area for the first time, or on a turn, or starts its turn there. Yes. Good. It wow. must make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Magic. So fun. I guess make that I throw like now. Magic. Because you technically, I forced you to enter it. Okay, both of them have to, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's Cyclops, uh, nineteen minus two is seventeen, and uh, then then the Homunculus six plus three is nine. So the Homunculus failed. Okay, so it is three d eight radiant. Jeepers! Uh, and half if you uh, succeed. So nine plus five is thirteen. <sighs> And then half of that is six. Jeez. So 13 and then six. Wow. And then I'd like to climb this big boy. Uh, make an athletics check. Oh, key, do, key. There's gonna be a high DC because it's a dude. Uh, all right. Well, I rolled. I think it's totally worth trying to do. Pretty dees. Okay. Uh, but my athletics is not dees. So 16. 16. I will say that you get 10 feet up of the 15. I will say okay. that you're like grasping onto the bottom of the crow's nest, but you're not quite in the crow's nest. Okay, cool. If that works for you. That's perfectly fair. But you're in the square and you're there. Great, that works for me. Uh, Astarok. 
Uh, 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 I'll see that. Uh, as- Sorry, not Astrock. I'm Astrock. Yeah, you're Astrock. I'll see that Lucian is starting to climb him and uh, like worry that uh, the ogre is going to like notice him. So I'm just like, no, no, no! <laughs> Keep your eyes on me, big guy. Nice. <laughs> and uh, just start hammering at his feet. Cool. Before you roll your attacks, making a uh, per- performance check. Okay. Or your professional wrestling heel moment. Right. All eyes on me. I'd argue he's being the face. That's sure. not great. You could just do straight charisma if you don't want to do performance, then. Mm. Uh, well, it's the same. I got a six. Okay. So maybe I'm a little like, don't sure. look at him! <laughs> right. Look at me! Right. <laughs> and he's like, I didn't see that thing <laughs> right. until you mentioned it. Well, and then I follow up my performance with uh, the physical element of it, which is I hit his leg with a, I hit his shins with a, a sure. big uh, antler Get him in axe. there. First one, that is... Yeah, sanctuary. Oh yeah. Um, oh right, what do I have right. to do? So wisdom saving throw I think is sanctuary. Okay. Sanctuary says, you ward a creature with within range against attack. Until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw, okay. which is my DC. On a failed save, the creature has to choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. Hey, I have a question. Yes. Sanctuary a concentration spell? It is. Did the monsters take damage when I hit it with the it did. class? Yes. It saves. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use my Bardic Inspiration with this save. I can do that, can, right? You sure can. I, I'm pretty sure. Can I roll first? Any D20 then? roll. What's right? that? For Bardic Inspiration? You're also blessed. Bardic blessed. You're also blessed. You can, I, don't think, I don't think it works for um, for skill checks, but it does attack rolls. Oh. And saving throws or no? Uh, I think saving throws, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, saving throws. Double checking, tell you uh, one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Yes. Okay, for the first That's saving throw. I was mixing up bless and bardic. Uh, that is 14, that's a 17. Did that's, you bless as well? Yeah. yeah, that's with the that, bless. I actually am not uh, going to use this. Okay, hold on to it, that's fine. Yeah. That, I guess I'm uh, giving it to you, because you never need it. Like, I know. You're always like, oh. I just succeeded. <laughs> I have a plus 24 That saves, you may now roll your attack. All right, and you now. And you used your bless, but not your bardic inspiration. Can I have the attack roll that I already made, which was? Mm, no. I'll give it a two turn from now on. Come on, you can do better than that. I did. Yeah. I did a crit. Yeah. Well, this time I rolled an 18. Yeah. This time I Do rolled it. a 19. Awesome. My man. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, 6 plus 11 plus 6. Uh, 17. Yeah. Plus something. 6 plus 11 plus 6? 6 plus 11 plus 6. Oh, 23. Wait, there's more than that. Yes. yes. Yeah. I thought that was the same number twice. <laughs> All right. That is 23 damage. Wow. Yikes. That was the first hit. And then I'm going to swing at him again. Because why not? Oh god, that one's not as good. That's a 11. You're still blessed. Uh, You're still blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. Bless, bless, bless. In the box. That is a a 12. No. But Bardic Inspiration. Oh, yeah. Can you do Bardic Inspiration after you've rolled? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought that's like, yeah. So go ahead. I think so. Yep. I think as long as you haven't told him it's a failure. Right. Which, yeah, uh, I which guess you, you know the armor class. Uh, so I now okay. have a 16. 16 will hit. Hooray! Got him. Yeah, if you tell him it's a failure, then he Boy. can't add it, but until then he can. Gotcha. 17. Woo. 17 damage. Yeah. Um, yeah. As he this, makes can, swing, this can be added after seeing the little before going the Ooh, nice. Yeah, yeah I like that. I love and, it. And uh, just, uh, just to whittle it down as fast as possible, I'm going to action surge and just Ooh. attack twice more. Yikes. Just two more attacks. Do you have to make another saving throw? Uh, yeah, we need another wisdom right. save. Oh, right. Okay. Go Sanctuary. Sorry, Nark Tonya. That's kind of what I do. Uh, my wisdom save is 16. Bless. Saves. Yay! Oh, yeah, and I forgot to roll Bless. <laughs> Dang. I forget this, you like, blessed. constantly. You have a lot of dice right now. You're, you're I learn things, dice. and then I immediately forget them. All right. So, first attack. Uh, in the thing. That is a 17. Uh, okay. Is that hit? It, uh, yes. I thought yeah. that was damage, sorry. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that was... 17 hits. 17. Uh, so I get to reroll that, because it's a one or a two on the okay. attack dice. And that is 16 damage. Wow. And then la- final attack. <laughs> this is crazy. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> yes. Crit City, baby! And that is one, two... So 12? And, like, we can't I get see anything, so we just hear an Astaroth. Like just eight cutting. Yeah. Twelve. 
Astrox, don't go too crazy. Uh, that's 18 damage. Contain on the last yourself. One. So Astrox just like, Ooh, come on, baby, and just like go, 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 back, back Jeez. in the Thunderdome. Because wow. Astrox has been a cage fighter before. Yes. He Control yourself. Control your anger. Wild, 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 wild. All right, Velma, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna move over to the to Tutaru's right, so that way, I, if I fire, I'm not hitting Lucian. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna fire off two Eldritch Blasts at our little homunculus friend again. Okay. Uh, he's only got half cover now, right? Correct, okay, so cool. plus two to armor class. Cool. Let me roll these first. Let me roll my blast. Okay, so that one is gonna be, that's a 13 on one of them. Okay. And the other one is going to be a 24. 24 hits. Okay. 13 misses. Yeah, I figured probably, but. Mm-hmm. Armor class is 13 without cover. Ah, man. All right, wait. Yeah, I was right, okay. Um, I was wrong, but I said it wrong, so I'm gonna let it be what it is. Okay. Um, it's actually a 15, but I'm gonna let it be wrong because I messed up my math. Remember math, kids? It only does three uh, force damage on that okay. one. And then uh, I'm dropping the concentration spell because I don't need if the guy's okay. not working. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think that's all I can do for this turn. Boy, this is rough. <laughs> Does the homunculus make a concentration? Oh, sorry. Save? Did we cream your monster for, <laughs> for the damage it took? Oh, for the sanctuary? Yes. Needs a ten or better. Fails. So sanctuary drops on the Ooh, on the side. Yes. Hooray! Okay, well, that was useful. Um, boy. Thank you for remembering that. That would have been like a turn later. I'm like, oh damn it! <laughs> this is rough, man. All right, homunculus is gonna. Whose house? The hum- pack's house. Homunculus is gonna make another. Is gonna cast another spell. Uh oh. Cast another spell? I'm pretty sure I get to know what it is before I counter spell. Uh, you, mm, do you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Do you have to identify it? I don't think so. You attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell. If the creature is casting a spell of third level or, or lower, which I wouldn't know unless you told me what spell it was. Right. I think that you don't know what spell it is until you see it being cast. What level is it? Do you get to know that? I'll have you make an arcana check. Okay. I will do, oh god. Uh, that is a 16, I believe. Okay. Looks like it's casting Cure Wounds. Um, I'm gonna allow it this time. Okay. It's gonna cast Cure Wounds at third level on the Cyclops. Um, and it is going to roll one, two, three. Spellcasting ability modifier. So uh, it does that. I see some of the wounds that I've chopped into his uh, shin just sort of cover themselves over. Yep. And then it is going to uh, jump off uh, or climb down the Cyclops and run this way. It runs over to this side of the pillar right here. It climbs down out of that catbird seat. So, because it started its turn, and it's in that, mm, sure. it takes, uh, well, let's make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Nope. So it takes 3d8 damage. Ooh. Oh. These owls do not like you, the homunculus. That's six. Yeah. Uh, so nine. Oh, he's super, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's okay. I mean, it uh, thought it, <laughs> thought I, it was running away from It thought it was running. And I will say that it is, because it is my spell, I will end it before it kills him. Okay, you wanna you wanna make him have one hit point left? Well, I mean, I can put him at zero and unconscious. You can you can deal non-lethal damage. Yeah. Sure, I'll let you do that. All your little Azorius symbols are just like boof, boof, boof. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so of, so like, describe like, for me, like, yeah. <laughs> describe for me the cutscene <laughs> as this homunculus climbs down and gets pecked to death as it claw, claws its way towards pecked to unconscious. Okay, okay. pecked into uh, unconsciousness. So Lucian is grabbing onto the side of this uh, cyclops and he sees the uh, homunculus on that nest. And he reaches his hand, like, oh, uh, I didn't get to meet you. Hello, uh, I'm Lucian. And he like jumps off. He's like, oh, shouldn't have done that. And those uh, <laughs> uh, just kind of like homing into him, just pew, 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 pew. fantastic. And he just falls down, um, unconscious on the ground. All right. Well, I guess I live here now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tutu, it's your turn. Wait, is it my turn? Yeah, because the priest just went. 
literally. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, he just went literally, yeah. <laughs> um, that was a priest. Astrock, oh. how are you looking? Uh. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Do you know how distance spell works? I tried to look it up. Distance spell doubles the spell distance, I believe. On your, you're talking about the, uh, you have your, My your wand. sorcerer's wand. Sorcerer's but you can wand. also move now and see him if you if you went over to the well, side there. Can I make a touch spell distance? Yes, that lengthens your, so the touch spell lengthens your touch by uh, up to a 30 foot range, I believe is nice. what distance spell does. Cool. Distance spell says, when you cast a spell that has a range of five feet or greater, you can spend a sorcery point to double the spell, or when you cast a spell with a range of touch, you can spend a sorcery point to make the range 30 feet. Nice. All right, I'm gonna do that then. Okay, so you're gonna spend a sorcery point. I am. From your wand, yep. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can see him, and you have 30 feet. All right, I'm gonna do that then. For the first time. I know, it's the first time I'm casting my sorcerer's wand. Do you, want, do you want to, uh, but before you do the effect, there you go, there's a sorcerer's wand. Roll a d20 for me. Oh, uh, yes. And tell me if you get a one. That whole thing. Uh, I hope you do, because it's just fun. I roll four. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. What does the spell do? Uh, what do you mean? What do you, so the, the wild magic surge does not happen. Right, right, right. What does the spell do? Oh, you, I'm going to do distance. Spell. Oh, right. cure, what is, wounds. cure wounds. Cure, cure wounds. So you can Classic. cast cure wounds. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so you see this like. No healing. <laughs> you see like this, <laughs> this like giant like hand looking thing, but it looks like a bush at the same time. So there's like, as it like goes towards you, it like leaves, white leaves are like falling away from it. Oh. And it just like, kind of like gently pats you on the shoulder <laughs> and you get cure <laughs> wounds. Um, I'm gonna do it at second level. Okay. As well. Peaceful. The Cyclops <laughs> cast counter spell. No, I'm just, yeah. it's like. I object, where's my hand? cast it like going, no! <laughs> no! I have another D8. How are there no other D8s? I got some D8s here. You can have some mine if you want. Yeah, just give me a D8, please. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Don't roll Rubens, they're cursed for us. That's right. Well, that's so are hers, apparently. <laughs> Ours are pretty cursed, too. Uh, yeah, so that's three plus seven. I heal you for 10. I'll take it! Hey, there you go. Yeah, 10 will do. That's not nothing, that's good. Yeah, that's right. Um, you have a move? Yes, I will. If you like. Yeah, I'm gonna move over around the right side of the. This way. Cyclops, yes. Fifteen. Uh, there's good. Okay. The Cyclops. And you're maintaining concentration on your weapon. <gasps> I can attack with my weapon. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's <laughs> ah, smack the. Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll. Roll attack. No, no sanctuary now. That's a 16 plus seven. That'll hit. <laughs> nice. <hope> so. <laughs> and then where is my spiritual weapon? It's a D8 as well. Is it one D8? Yes. That's powerful, man. Um, oh, hey, okay, I hate to rules lawyer us like yeah. this. Can you have spiritual weapon and bless happening at the same spiritual time? Spiritual weapon is not a concentration spell. Oh, okay, cool. I thought it was. Yeah. Uh, six. It's six damage. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I love spiritual weapon. All right. It's like one is of the best turn? tools in the cleric's yes. grade. It is now. A, oh, there's no extra attack for a cleric. So it is now Okan's turn. Oh, sorry. It takes uh, six plus spell casting ability modifier, which is wisdom. It takes ten. Okay. Okan needs to make a wisdom saving throw for for my spiritual birds. Ah. My birds, baby. Uh, it's it sixteen minus two, fourteen. Fourteen is actually might actually be failure. Hold on a second. My CDC is 15. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> well, it fails. Yeah, it sure do that. These spiritual damn. whatevers, man. Wild. Uh, so that is nine so far, and then two more. So 11 <laughs> radiant damage. <laughs> okay. And, and if it's, I will also make it non-lethal if that's the end of it. Sure. Uh, it's the Cyclops' turn. Okay. Cool. The Cyclops is going to take two great weapon or two great club attacks on you, beating you on your back. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, tries to distract it. Would it not hurt itself by doing that? Nope. Okay. It does this all the time. <laughs> it's got like flies and stuff on it. Uh, so those are plus nine. Oh no! <laughs> um. So that's a twenty-five I mean, and a twenty-six. Good. They're both good. They hit without the pluses. Yes. They just get it. I squish. I squish so... real hard. Oh no. The first one 
See if I have any fun reactions I can do. Oh God, 20 is okay. the first one. I'm down. <laughs> okay. So if the second one, if you want to just and go for And the second fun, one's just... a crit, and you have two death saving throws missed. Cool. Cool. Great. So I'm dead. Two, two death saves. I'm dying. Blue! <laughs> and you fall prone. And that spell ends, by the way. All okay. those, all those runes and owls. Yeah. Oh yeah, that tends to happen when you're dying. Yeah. yeah. Cool, failure, failure. Looking great. Top of the round, Lucian. Here's what happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have wait. You're still blessed, right? I don't think you can use it for this. It's a safety throw? It's not it's a safety throw. It does stay with its own magical thing. It's, it's own. Here's what happens. Oh my god. You fall unconscious. You are on the ground, and it is icky blackness. And suddenly, you're sitting in a chair. It is a comfortable, overstuffed, velvet, plush chair with armrests that you can feel. Very comfortable. Should have died sooner. Well appointed room. Uh, nice. It smells nice in here. There's a fire roaring. And there is a well dressed, uh, devilish looking person at a desk, large desk, sitting across from you. Hands folded like so, fingers crossed, head on fingers, and just sort of looking at you. Good looking dude, probably late 20s, if that means anything to a devil. Red horns, red skin, a, a double breasted coat. Rough day? Where am I? Oh, this is my office. Where exactly is your office? Mm. Hell. I'm not doing so well, am I? No, no, you're not. But I'm a fan of deals. You're right there on death's door. Um. But you're pretty interesting, you know that? You're an interesting chap, and uh, I think that, uh, you know, if you were interested in a bit of uh, give and take, I'd be interested in a give and take. What are your terms? I know the uh, events of your death, your death here. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm well aware of, uh, of this Mad Maggie. Um, seems like they've got doctors, whatever that means. Um, if you wanna take those chances. Otherwise, I can guarantee that you can keep uh, walking around with your friends. Well, that's, that's quite a deal. Sure is. Low cost. Go on. See, most of the souls that come across on my path, they're spoken for. They're uh, decided upon. They've got uh, reservations at the end of the line, so to speak. But you don't, it seems. Um, you don't really have an affiliation in the religion circle. Uh, being from Ravnica, which is interesting. Um, I, I've been to Ravnica. It's interesting there. It's a, it's an interesting plane. Um, so here's here's the deal. I let you keep kicking around, but when you kick it at the end of the line, I get your soul. That's all. Just my soul. That's it. Well, with a bargain like that. 
I'm sorry, I... This is a bit much for me, this making a deal at death's door. It seems a bit cliche, don't you think? It's pretty cliche, it is, but, uh, you know... Desperate people, desperate times, you know, desperate measures. People will do a lot of things when they're uh, looking death in the face, as it were. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yeah. I would be one to oblige. I would, but uh, I'm afraid your offer just isn't enticing enough yet. Okay. Okay. Well, you are more valuable to me alive regardless, so what do you have in mind? How can you repay me? Repay you? Yeah. How can you help me? Well, I'm sure there's someone out on this plane or another that has uh, made a deal with you and not paid up. Oh, for sure. Lots. Maybe I can investigate. I am investigator of sorts, and I could look into it and maybe find your man. I like that. One soul for another. That's a good idea. I like that. Interesting. I like you. Well, your name was Lucian Ladrian, right? That's yes. what it said in the uh, thing. Interesting. I'm Tybalt, by the way. It's nice to make your acquaintance. Um, you're, you're a fascinating dude. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I'll have some paperwork drawn up, and uh, and I'll send it your way. Okay. Have fun with the rest of the fight. <sighs> Andy snaps his fingers. You son of a! I said you were supposed to attack me. <laughs> Come on. Let me get back to the regular music here. Oh my god! I, wow. Wait, so just so I can understand the severity of this, so like, mm -hmm. is it on their turn they lose their next day death saving throw? Or? Correct. Okay. If, so on their on on Lucian's turn, he is going to he would have rolled a d twenty. Okay. What has just occurred is, you have made a deal. The nature of that deal. Let's actually decide the nature of the deal first, because there's a deals table in the book. <laughs> so before, I know, right? Lucian likes nothing better than a deals I, table. I, I also, I'm like, my heart's like in my chest right I now. Know. It's just like, oh my god. Yeah. I feel like Lucian would definitely want it in writing eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he did say he's gonna send it to me. Okay, let's see here. Roll a d6 for me. Here we go. I got a two. Great. That is... All right. As you're sitting in Tybalt's office, a portal opens, and a humanoid bound in chains with its eyes and mouth sewn shut stumbles through it. This is the wrong music for now. We needed the devil's office music, but... Stumbles through it. This individual, um... has terms of the deal carved into its skin. Oh, no. Uh, no, I do not deal with skin paper. I need real paper from trees, or else no deal. Trees? Look it you up. I'm sure you'll is. find some Oh, trees. I know what trees are. Well, I'm sure you could think of a less disgusting thing to make paper out of. It doesn't have Roll to be... Roll a persuasion check. Against the devil. <laughs> That's a two... Oh. Plus numbers. <laughs> hmm. I don't have paper, but we can do stone. Fine, I'll take stone. Okay. The poor wretch goes back through the portal, and a swell of lava oozes through a crack in the desk and cools quickly into rock on the desk top. Um, the words of the deal are etched in red cooling magma. Um, and uh, Tybalt takes his left hand and places it into the magma and it sinks slowly in. It steams around his hand, but it does not appear to be hurting him. And he looks at you. Oh, is this what passes for signatures around here? <sighs> you place your hand onto the lava. And it doesn't hurt. It does not harm you. 
but it leaves a hand-shaped imprint in the stone. You remove your hands, and the slab disappears. I'm going to need a copy of that. I can, I can get that to you. <laughs> Have a good time. <sighs> you automatically crit on your death save. Okay, all right, so I'm back up. You are unconscious on the ground at one hit point. Oh, God. That is the end of the Cyclops' turn. It was Lucian's turn. That is the end of your turn. Yep. Astarok, it's your turn. You giant one-eyed smother f- flipper. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> he say he, he but he but I didn't say flip. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. But he didn't say. Flip. Yeah. H E double hockey sticks is where we are. So. Oh yeah. Okay. So I mean, I'm going to. Astrock is just going to go for the thing's stomach and just try and like cut it open. Sure. Uh, so the first uh, is a twenty-four hits. I hope so. <laughs> okay, that's nine damage. Describe for me the cutscene, quite literally, as your axe finds purchase in the stomach of the Cyclops. Okay, so so he, here's exactly what happens. I see the thing come down and just smash blue, and I see him sit there, and it looks like he's dead. And I yell what I just yelled at him, and just slam my axe into his stomach, and then pull myself up by the axe, mm-hmm. grab onto his chest, pull it out, and just jam the axe into his eye. Ooh. <sighs> and it collapses backwards, not onto. Oh my god. <laughs> it kills Lucian. Um, <laughs> Time for another deal. And Okon is no more. What if you had promised him your soul? Yay! <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Boo! Lucian! Oh. Boo! Master. Boo! Oh my god! Yeah, Tutu's gonna what? run over. I'm okay, I'm, I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh my god. Yeah, I went over to him as well. We almost mm-hmm. lost you! No, I'm... I'm fine. That I thing... Didn't... that thing smashed you! <laughs> Lulu <laughs> flies through a hole in the grate and flies in and says, Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you okay? I'm fine. Astarok, and I pull him close like, I told you not to kill. Well, I... I... I, 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 thought, Doctors, I thought he had killed you. So gates open in the sides, uh, and, uh, little goblins in, like, ah. aprons that are covered in blood, like, start coming in and, like, sort of traipse over, um, and they start patching up As the I Cyclops get... and the, are you keeping the spiritual weapon up? No, it's okay. fine. And they start, um, uh, patching up, uh, with bandages. Um, does not look like they're using magic. Uh, the the um, downed beings. Okay. Well, as soon as I try to get near Lucian, I'm gonna be like, no, back away. I have this handled. Get away from him right now. All right. Cool, 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 cool. We cool, Maggie. And I'll heal him. And Maggie gives the. the I have my rapier out while they're doing that. See, look, I'm, sure. I'm backing her, her purple eye out. Yeah. Um. Good job, team. I would say Velma is the only one paying this attention. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm way too focused. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Astarok, right now? You just standing over your Yeah. Uh, well, 15. Okay. I, I, I think I'm standing right, I just like cool. jumped off of them after they came over and came closer to uh, Lucian. Cool. You see a lot of the bookies collecting and paying out. Um, you see, uh, once the bookies have uh, made enough of the rounds, they start bringing huge bags of cash to uh, Matt Mag. Okay. And while this is happening, I'm actually going to be doing prayer of healing, so I'll be praying to Mat Celestia for about ten minutes to heal okay. everyone. Mm. Okay. You want to stay in here for ten minutes? If, if it looks like it's going to take that long to get out. Is there a round two? We don't know about No, they'll let you, they'll let you out, yeah. but, you know, they, if you want to stay literally No, 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 we here. can go into why the don't, end. Yeah, why don't yeah, we yeah, go yeah. somewhere else? All right, so yeah. we can cut away ah. from the map, and we can cut to back to inside of the, the headquarters of Fort Knucklebone, and Mad Maggie is there, uh, as is Lulu. Uh, Barnabas the Flame Skull is floating off in a corner. Um, Chucka and Clonk, are waiting off to the side as well, just in case. 
Um, and you all, uh, and they, uh, uh, Maggie is being given a report from one of the ghoulish looking madcaps uh, that had, that was like covered in blood and, and um, viscera. And uh, seems like both uh, Okan and Zunderspult will uh, survive um, with their egos bruised, having been bested by some outlanders. All right, Mags, we did your blood sport. That was super fun, wasn't it? That was excellent. Well done. Now, that was, thank you so much for indulging me. I hope you all had a good time. Now we can get down to the business of getting you on your way. We had a smashing time. Ah, that's a pun. I like it. Well done. Now. Lucian, how are you? Are you, are you doing okay? I will. You'll be will fine. Be, yeah. I asked him. Oh, fair enough. You should have seen all your eyes bugged out when that thing hit you in the chest. Let me just keep my dignity. It is a big, great club. Yeah, you look, you look like one of those little squeezy dolls. They yeah, sell. it's very, very entertaining. Good for the crowd. Well, I'm glad they yeah. had a good time. Well, I'm just saying, I was worried about you. More bets placed on that fight than one in recent memory. I'm very excited. Well, I'm glad we were just sport to you. Oh, not just sport. A little bit of an investment. You know, sometimes you need to make sure that your fight is unique and different, right? And uh, I really needed to show my people that, uh, you know, we had something unique to offer. The gangs around these parts are restless and always recruiting more. And since you'll be on your way soon, you should probably know exactly who's out there. So... The Cyclops is out there? They're not as common. Okay. Particularly, uh, that one was was uh, another planner traveler. Um, but, uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of dangers out there. And I thought that you might like to um, have, a, have a bit of an exercise. I'm um, sure it didn't help that you made money hand over fist from it. Oh, good heavens, no. <laughs> well, it was, it was well worth the investment. Which, by the way, and she will pull out a satchel and say, I believe that there's some payment that will be in order here. First of all, uh, you all seem to operate with food and beverage, if I'm not mistaken. I have here about two weeks of rations for each of you, um, which uh, should suffice for the time being. Yeah, doesn't look like it's going to be too easy to scrounge stuff up around the landscape out mm, here. It's yes. difficult to come by, that's for sure. Yes, we'll take that. Thank you. I will also say, um, previously, I'd heard you chiding this one, the pointy one, about needing a javelin. Um, I do have a javelin for you. It's not uh, magical, but it is made of silver. Uh, well, that sure seems like it could be useful. Indeed. Something I can throw. I will, uh, it's particularly useful against the various lycanthropes and devils that make these parts their home. I'll tell you a little bit more about those as we continue this conversation. Honestly, I don't think we need it. If you gave him the javelin, then I would have nothing to chide him about, and we just can't have that. Would you prefer I didn't? Lucian, I, I hate this joke. <laughs> This I don't. I don't like that you've developed something of a sense of humor. This joke is both funny and well executed. I like it. Thank you. No. Yes, we'll take the javelin. Excellent. And she will place a silvered javelin upon the table as well. This thing's pretty light. I open up my bag of holding mm -hmm. and I pull out the halberd that I got out of the car mm. and I hand it to her. Ah. And I say it's an even trade for the javelin. Oh, very nice. Well. I appreciate it. This is very nice. I like this weapon quite a bit. If you require another silvered weapon, I can certainly trade for this. Do you have any ideas? Don't look at me. I think my axe, my I javelin's think, I think, all I need. I think the halberd is payment for the javelin. Excellent news. And I will also be happy to provide you with, let's see how many soul coins. Um, how much is a soul coin in our in our thing here? She will provide you with a number of soul coins equal to how many soul coins we've been given. <laughs> Yay! Uh, one, forty, two, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe like eight. Hey, right. and if you want to be a soul coin, you can donate to our Extra Life fundraiser. That's right. You want to be like Steve? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's right. And so we will, uh, so she will start stacking one, two, three, four. Five, and give you eight soul coins. Hooray! Ah, ah, and ah. these are thick. These are like three quarters of an inch thick, five inches around, and they feel heavy. They feel like 15 pound weights when you pick them up. Wow. Um, 
And she says, uh, this is an even, even Steven trade, don't you think? Hey, sounds I think it's, good to I me. I think it's earned money for the work we did. Absolutely, yeah. well done, well done. And you also, I believe, wanted to trade in your current ride for some new wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Which I'm more than happy to do. You see, Feanor's demon grinder there is, uh, well, it looks a little worse for wear, but I can also upgrade you into a sleeker, smaller vehicle that is in um, perfect working order. Yes, I think we'd like to keep a lower profile if mm. we could. Yeah. Especially it's a little can. ostentatious, right? In what appears to be a giant death tower. I was speaking to Chucka and Clonk, and they said you might have a scavenger out there that's more size of a tormentor. Ah, I'm sorry. Tormentor. Well, either or, we can certainly make that work. And um, were there any upgrades in particular that you were interested in? Oh, uh, I didn't know we had a choice in upgrades. Well, we can certainly get the uh, the machinists on it and uh, have you ready to go. All right, I'll take a look at the menu. So your prayer of healing is going to go off. Great. So as it's doing that, like. So basically, I'm not listening to them the entire time, and I'm basically trying to find the song of the world soul. Because mm-hmm. um, once you, there's a specific note that is your soul, and then people you know have different sounds as well, and so I'm just kind of trying to tune into that, and as soon as I'm able to, I'm like, got it! And mm-hmm. then as I do that, I open my eyes, which are probably a little green right now, mm-hmm. glowing green, and then I heal everyone for 16. Nice. Yay! Hot damn! In addition, roll a religion check for me. Ooh. Where is my religion? Four. Okay. So you get 16 hit points. Enjoy. I'm, I'm fine. I didn't take any hits that whole <laughs> night, so I'm good. That feels a lot better. Uh, much better. Thank you, Tutor. Okay. What did I miss? Well, I, I do notice that the other vehicle that we're trading in is covered in a golden armor. And it might be beneficial if we had that armor put onto this vehicle. Would we that be can certainly make think? that happen, I do believe. There's uh, lots of upgrades that are optional, but that one's a relatively easy process. Oh, wait. I, no, actually, it can't. It's not. This gold can't be removed without destroying the vehicle. On certain oh, heavens. The, 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 yeah, the, the, the gold that's on the current vehicle would not be coming off, but we can gild the other vehicle if you so choose. So what what we're going to do here, folks, is I'm going to let you choose one alternative weapon station. Cool. And one armor upgrade. Okay. Okay. And that's what I'm going to let you have. Have the two of you had any chance to look over the vehicle stuff? Because I feel like these two don't really get a... Nope. So the alternative weapon stations, if you want them, are an acidic bile sprayer, a flamethrower, ah. an infernal screamer, Neat. or a Styx sprayer. Ah. The armor upgrades are Canian armor, gilded death armor, which was what was on your vehicle the previous time, and soul spike armor. Uh, and if you really want, I'll let you have the necromantic smoke screen. Mm. Actually, no, I'm not gonna let you have that. <laughs> The, the weapon stations and the armor upgrades, if you want to choose one of those. Um, if you what want the gilded... What comes on the vehicle we have already? So the, which vehicle are you choosing? You're choosing the... The Tormentor. The Tormentor. The Tormentor is a huge vehicle, about the size of that Cyclops that you met with. Um, it can hold four medium creatures and it weighs 500 pounds. Nice. Uh, it has crushing wheels and it has raking scythes on the side. So okay. it's got like spiked hubcaps. Um, the weapons count as magical. It has a harpoon flinger. It also has a harpoon flinger. I like that. Uh, at the back, it looks like. Or sort of like up on, it's like a warthog from Halo. Gotcha. So yeah. So you can sort of swivel it around. That's what I want. I want a warthog from Halo. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. Which way, is this, which way is this driving? I think it's in the front. Well, it looks more Might like be in a, the front. Front yeah. is yeah. left. Looks more like a big yeah, 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 yeah. sort to me. It does look like it's in the front. Yeah. Um, the demon grinder has, no, it's in the front too. Yeah, the demon grinder's in the front too. Um, yeah, the wrecking ball's in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the scythe is in the back. That's, the scythe is in the back of the... Oh, the scythes? Yeah. When Wait. It moves within... No, the scythes are just like around it. Yeah, I'm not sure what that thing in the back is. Okay, so that's what it has currently. You can replace that harpoon flinger if you so choose. And you can add a weapon. Sorry, add armor. Can we get so. an upgrade to make the steering wheel more usable for a person my size? or our sizes. The last one had a very large and unwieldy one. Well, 
If you look inside, you can see that it has, this one is a much more regular sized for you steering wheel. Excellent, I just don't want it to fly out the window while I'm driving. My size steering wheel. <laughs> if you're really interested, we can provide you with some driving lessons as well. Uh, yes, I, I would actually love a lesson. Great, too. we can um, chaka clunk. And uh, the, the two kanku will come up uh, Maggie will say, now these these are Chucka and Clonk. You believe you've met them before. Yes. Have you ever interacted with Kenku before? Uh, I don't, don't think so. We had an interaction. <laughs> it was, um... Mm. Are these guys Kenku? They are Kenku, Kenku? Yes. Raven folk. Corvids. Uh. They are, um... A cursed people, really. Um, no, no language their own, unfortunately. Their ancestors were cursed uh, to only speak in repetition, things oh. they've heard. Hmm. However, they can mimic perfectly. Interesting. They look similar to Avon, which are a race of birds from our area. Indeed, there are some uh, Aracocra who oh. fre frequent and are also bird oh. people. These Kenku cannot fly themselves, um, another curse of their uh, people. Yeah, well, I mean, anyway, I can't fly, and that's not too much of a curse. Chukka is uh, is a bit of a mouthy one. Clonk, not so much. Seems to be um, the strong, silent type. They can provide you with some lessons. Uh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Um, for the sake of this, how about you roll an intelligence check for me? Okie okay, dokie. Okay. It's an eight, okay. plus, I think, two. Okay. Um... I will say that you are on the way to learning, and should you continue to spend some time learning, uh, I will eventually give you proficiency with land vehicles. I'll get the hang of this eventually. And if anybody else wants to drive, of, of all, by all means, I don't want to be the only one. I mean, I'm sure we can learn it a little bit, we can work on it. Um, I'm, I'm curious about the weapon decision we should make. Do we want to add this flamethrower? Do we want to keep this, this javelin tosser? What do you, or the bile sprayer. I don't, I find um, the Infernal Screamer a little bit untorrid, so. I quite like the one that uh, I believe sprays water. I could use that for a shower. If Very we a specific I, type of water, Oh, I should mention. Ah. Um, you're speaking force of the Styx sprayer. Yes. Yes, oh, I might not use that I for a shower. what happened to Lulu with yes. the Stripper Styx water. Oh, oh you, it's that kind of. It is that kind of water. water. Oh. Uh, uh, regardless, it might not be bad to have to erase someone else's memory. I, I don't I mean, know if it just erases people's memories, though, and I don't think... Does, does, um, does quite a bit. It sort of enfeebles the mind entirely. Ah. Bring, right. Brings you to your knees, uh, robs you of your faculties uh, for a uh, period of time, in addition to your memories. Well, you can never go wrong with a nice flamethrower, either. Well, Astarok, I think you are the weapons master of this group, and if you would like to choose the flamethrower, I am happy to give it to you. Hey, whatever makes you guys happy. I mean, you know me, I just like to hit things. Uh, flamethrower it is, then. All right, we can have that installed. Barnabas, have them put a flamethrower on their new... What did you get? Uh, the Tormentor. Tormentor. Put a, put a flamethrower on the new Tormentor. Yes. I mean, are we sure? Okay. Mistress. I, I can heat up things on my own, so do we need a flamethrower, or should we stick with something? Fun? What, what, whatever. If it hurts, it hurts. We'll do it. <laughs> That's uh, well put. It the, hurts, this it one hurts. over here. Um, so you'll get a flamethrower, and you want that gilded death armor? Uh, yes, that sounds fine. Okay. Gilded well, so death armor. So the uh, Canadian armor is iron armor. No, if you want to choose the armor, I'm fine with that. It's uh, you are sort of um, the fashionable one of us four. Grants. Okay, so it looks like the Canian armor. If we do that, will make our vehicle harder to hit. But the Gilded Death armor grants it protection against certain types of damage, resistance of some sort. And then the Soul Spike armor. If we go with that. Um, Oh, that sounds horrible. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, basically it might be creature... too, too much for your delicate sensibility. If, if the creature isn't a devil, dies within 30 feet of the war machine, its soul is torn from its body and joins the wailing throng of palace flanks. As long as the soul remains trapped, the creature can't be raised from dead by any means. A it's my favorite, <laughs> is um, what I'm saying. It's a, oh, it, it, gives, it like creates a series of spikes that have like AC. 
I think uh, that might be a little bit. The souls bit of... become armor of the. It's a really elegant. No, you don't like that one. No, I think it might be sending the wrong message. Mm. Um, I, yeah, I think that I, a, a friend of mine, would very much disagree with me using that. I think that. The, the question is, do we want to use the armor that makes our vehicle harder to hit in general, or the armor that protects it from certain types of damages? What do you think, Velma? I think being harder to hit would do us good. Um, as, as we just saw earlier, once you're hit, you're hit and it hurts a lot. So. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you don't get hit, you don't take as much damage in my experience. Okay. I mean, I get hit a lot. And that's the Canian armor? That's the Canian armor. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, cool, yeah, let's do that. So the Canian armor raises your armor class to 22 plus its dexterity modifier, which I don't think it has a dexterity modifier. Uh, I bet it does. Oh, it does. This is the, which one is this, the Tormentor? Yeah, yeah. so it has plus 24 AC. 24. Yeah. 24 one. AC. Um, now, when it's not moving, it does have, attacks against do have advantage. Right. But I think that's true of all the war machines. Isn't yes. It? Okay. Yeah, their AC is lower too. And it also just... has immunity to cold damage. Right. And is immune to the effects of extreme cold, so that nice. might be useful for us at some point too. Yeah, because they out of character. That's what it does. The gilded armor gives it resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Right. Um. And if the machine drops zero hit points, the armor turns to dust. So I think the Canyon armor is probably more our speed. Okay. Now this armor was made in Kenya, which is one of the cold layers of the Nine Hells. It's very rare, however. You made me quite a bit of coin today, so I'm happy to oblige you. I will have an item card made up for you all next week that has your new car. Yay! Um, do you have any specifications for your vehicle that you'd like to make? Um, so, while I'm glad we're protected from whatever is outside and attacking us, I did take a lot of damage hmm. when we tried to park the car. Is there anything we can maybe install oh. inside, like a pillows or something for sure. if we have to stop? We have, um, uh, some of our people have been working on these things called seat belts <laughs> <laughs> that we can have installed. That would be wonderful. Excellent. Excellent. I don't understand. Seats don't wear pants, why would they need belts? It's a belt, it's more of a belt of safety. Safety mm. belt. I like the sound of that. Oh, like Safety like the belt. giant. It's sort of belt it's that, sort of attached. Yes, has. very similar. It's oh. it sort of attaches you to one of the seats in a oh. way. Huh? Like sort of like harness. chains you to this, like a harness. Yes. All right. Okay, I guess I could see how that could work. I'm not a huge fan, personally. Sounds dangerous to you me. Also it's a little dangerous, like but life and damage when you hit the dashboard. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. <laughs> Um, I will have to work out the mechanics of what a seatbelt does. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure that we can, if you put your seatbelt on, then we can uh, probably like half the damage or give you advantage or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Click it or tick it. That's right. Um, <laughs> I will so, get a ticket. <gasps> we can be cops. <gasps> Before you head off on your merry way, um, and you can all take a short rest. Um, Yay! Cool. If you are still heading out, we'll do back. that. You should be aware of some of the people that you might run out to, into out there. There are a number of gangs out there that operate in the wastes between the places. There is a lot of space in between the war and a lot of room for controlling area. Among those out there, you've already run into some of Feanor's gang. Feanor is a um, necromancer. Um, go ahead and roll a... How would we do this? Roll a history check. We'll see how much information you get about Feanor. Let's see how much information we know. I got a four. Learning about Feanor. Ooh. I got a daddy twat. Uh, you said history? Mm -hmm. It's a 25. Yeah, 25. You know a whole bunch about Feanor. Feanor's symbol on the front appears to be a um, sort of um, like a, 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 fl a flame, uh, but with eyes, essentially. F sort of a flame, and the bottom of which is sort of the teeth of a skull. Different from Mad Maggie's skull in that it actually looks like a flame. Um, <laughs> Maggie tells you that Feanor uh, likely fled the material plane, did not die per se, but went where her necromantic powers could be better used. Um, and uh, that, that's what she's heard at the very least. She also knows that she is friends with Mahadi. Mahadi 
runs the Wandering Emporium, um, which if you press further, the Wandering Emporium is a traveling marketplace, mm. a bazaar um, that is not on your map, but uh, manages to pop up in interesting and unique locations. Um, what was it called again? The Wandering Emporium. And Mahadi. Um, she uh, is very aloof, sort of has a deadish indifference towards everyone. Deadish. Um, and she commands hordes of undead. Cool. She is a necromancer. Cool. Lots of those going around. Um, which is why the demon grinder was full of hands and ghouls and stuff. Mm -hmm. Other gangs you might run into include Princeps Kovic. He runs the 8th Infantry Legion, um, which is a, it's an interesting name considering it's not particularly well organized or orchestrated. I think that it's more a um, just a ragtag band. Uh, it sounds like they give legions a bad name. Sure does. They're certainly not organized at all. Yeah, well, as a legionnaire myself, if I run into him, I might have to kick a little bit of order into it. Absolutely. Something. Sounds right <laughs> up your alley, these <laughs> folks. They are a, a legion of devils. Oh. Um, these devils, though, obviously running in their sort of um, roused about vagabond fashion, they're not particularly organized. They are underneath Princeps Kovic. Um, but it's, uh, they, they've, they've had a lot of run-ins in particular with the demonic forces around the banks of the River Styx. Um, you might also run into Bitter Breath. Bitter Breath is a, uh, a former, mm, actually Maggie wouldn't know that. Um, Bitter Breath is a, a devil themselves. They, however, do not command other devils. They run a, an outfit of hobgoblins, Hob for the most part. Um, quite dangerous still. The final... What is the difference between a, a goblin and a hobgoblin? Much tougher, much Were there hobgoblins heartier. on Ravnica? No. Okay. No. Cool. Hobgoblins are more human-sized. Goblins are a little bit smaller. Hobgoblins. Uh, we are... know what a goblin is. Right? Yes. So, okay. Very good. Yes. Um, What's the name of Bitter Breath's gang? Bitter Breath's gang is does not have a name. Okay. Just Bitter Breath's gang. Sounds original. Yes. Well. Can't accuse them of being creative. The other, um, I wouldn't so much, oh, there is one more gang that you might run into, which is Raga Draga. Raga Draga operates an outfit that is mostly uh, lycanthropes. Um, they suffer from lycanthropy, really sad. How about Javelin? Yeah. Um, are you familiar with the, the lycanth lycanthropy? Only in stories. I don't, yes. Go ahead and make a medicine check. Oh. No. Nope. Oh man, that was natural 22. Okay, well, that's still that's a 16. I got a natural one, so mm -hmm. definitely haven't heard of them. 13. Uh, four. 16. One, natural one. Okay. So it's a two. <laughs> um, you are, I mean, of course, you've all heard of werewolves. These are the stories of uh, children and... and um, you know, you better be careful or the werewolves will get you. It occurs more complicated tales than that. <laughs> right. It, it occurs to you, having read a bunch of pulp fiction and a bunch of um, uh, stories of this ilk, that in most of those stories, the forms of the lycanthropes change with the uh, faces of the moon. And uh, there does not appear to be a moon. Huh. So I assume, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming in character that means that they're always in werewolf form in this place. Sure. I don't mean that. I don't mean that means they, I would, guess that I make right, character. yeah. I would say that's a pretty safe, safe, uh, uh, guess, yeah. Um, that is the last of the gangs. Now, there is a, another freelancer out there who used to have a gang, but I believe is working on his own right now. His name is Smiler. Smiler! Uh, the Defiler is what he's commonly known as. Ugh. You may run into him. He's a, he's an interesting sort. Um, the less said about him, the better, I think. 
Now, where do you think that you might be heading off to? I think that we're gonna head towards uh, Haramon's Hill and the spawning trees. Hmm. Right? Haramon's Hill and... Uh, well, the bleeding city. What was that city, right? The bleeding, oh, I have no... Elturel. Elturel, Elturel was Elturel. the city, but I think that yeah. was somewhere else. So that, that was somewhere else. Yeah, wasn't that where... Uh, that just moves around. We don't it know moves around. You, you, we don't right. know, yeah. You don't know right. where Elturel is on your map, and you don't know where the bleeding cit citadel is on your map either. Um, we do know where Harmon's Hill is. We do know where Harmon's Hill is. I don't know where we are. Lulu, where did you want to go? I, I wanted, well, we have to get to El Terrell. Okay. I have to get to El Terrell. In order to get to El Terrell, in order to save El Terrell, I have to get to the Bleeding Citadel. I don't know where the Bleeding Citadel is, but in or, I think, based on that dream, based on that vision, in order to get to the Bleeding Citadel, the answer might lie at Haramon's Hill. Okay, well that sounds like a place as good as anything else. And that's probably where we're going, yeah. Haramon's Hill is about to, I don't know. Mm. I'd say perhaps a hundred miles from here. And where are we on this map, Maggie? Right now? Somewhere around here. And she will point to just like the middle, like here-ish probably. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, Fort Knucklebone is somewhere, maybe about 15 miles from the River Styx, somewhere on the map, but it won't stay there because geography is weird in Avernus. Great. Well, we should probably get going as soon as we can. Yeah, that sounds like a good yes. call. Excellent news. Well, this was great fun. I hope you've all had a lovely um, breakfast. We have lunch, by the way, if you're interested. We have um, uh, BLTs. I'm not even going to ask what those stand for. No, you shouldn't. Yeah. I think we'll take the rations you gave us. All right, we'll, excellent. We'll, take we'll, we'll get out of your hair, Maggie. Great. And um, you get packed up. You have a brand new vehicle. So what's what's your vehicle now? We have a, a Tormentor. A tormentor. You have a tormentor. tormentor with a flamethrower. And the gilded armor, correct? Well, we'll no, we took the Canaan armor. Oh, we'll Canaan armor. have to change that name. Canaan yes. armor? You can't call it the Tormentor. Anybody got any ideas? Canaan uh, armor and... Tomorrow. And, and you have a flamethrower? I mean, I kind of thought of calling it the Parhelion Three. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> what? You, keep, yeah. you can keep... Flamethrower. Keep, keep talking about... I like about, tomorrow, uh, too, though. I like tomorrow. Just thought it was more appropriate to our whole group and not just one member <laughs> of the group. Sure, just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's cool. Morrow it is then. Morrow. Are there any other personifications you wish to uh, make to either the vehicle or to yourselves or anything you wish to do here in Fort Knucklebone before you depart? Um, I paint a little bit on the vehicle. Uh, I paint like kind of like a mural that has like um, plants growing around it. And there's like an axe, like it's it's Astrox axe in it, and there's like a scroll in it, and there's also like um, just like a couple of fans on the other side of it. So I kind of like represent all of us with it, and like nice. kind of all intertwined. And I have our broken pack symbol on it somewhere uh, too. Great. Uh, make a make a performance check. Okay. Me. You know, one it's just really crappy. Mm, no. just make a, actually, this is going to be a dexterity performance because <laughs> you're what? painting. You're not using charisma. You're painting. So I want dexterity performance. That's not. That's how it works. Okay. That's how I'm what the, that means. I'm the master of this dungeon. Go. So you add your dexterity bonus. Okay, but I have proficiency in performance. So sure. So okay. you'll still use that. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. So that's fine. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I have uh, at this point proficiency. Okay. Can I see her do this and aid her? Sure. Give it. Give it. Go ahead and do an aid. So lovely. You put a hand on the shoulder. Yeah, I don't know. And then you okay. can. Well, you know what? I rolled a aid. 16 plus uh, the at least uh, my dexterity is plus two, and, and then aid. I also get to add a plus one because of. I mean, sorry, a plus two because of proficiency bonus. So, uh, so right now I'm at. You said plus what? Plus, plus aid. So roll a d4, right? Okay. D4. Okay. So 16 plus two plus two plus three plus three. So 23. Yeah. Um, great. You all of those things are beautiful and exactly how you place them. Good. Which portion of the vehicle I are the various uh, iconographies Hang on? Hang on, I need to look at the picture of it again. <laughs> it's like, okay. it's hard with we're playing just, Mind's Eye here. Just curious. Maggie, would you happen to have a, um, 
change of clothes my size? Of course, absolutely. Uh, Plenty I, I, of extra. I do extra. want to clarify, nothing made of skin? Oh, of course, no. Nothing but cloth. Yeah. I think it's along this like front section here, like kind cool. of like with that. Yeah, like it kind of looks like awesome. Yeah, and I think that actually the vines are kind of like going along the side of it, yeah. and then like I think the right. things that are wrapped in the vines. Are like like when you have flames on the side of your truck, yeah. it's but except for its vines. Yeah, yes. yeah. awesome. I love it. And, uh, um, yeah. yeah, I have a change of clothes. Yeah, and actually, as much as I like my duds, they're getting a little beat up. Absolutely, we can provide. I have some clothes here, and I actually open up the bag and I like pull some some of the clothes out yeah. that I had at the inside of the thing. It so. occurs to you that all of the clothes that Maggie is handing you, and all of the clothes that are that were in the truck, these are dead people's clothes, right? But they're, they're clothes. I mean, they could be put to use. I don't suppose there's a laundromat nearby. Oh heavens, no! All right. And if we washed them well, that would not be yeah, good. Well. Hey, we use our, we 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 reuse armor all the time in the Legion, so that's right. There you go. It's, it's good to... Well, oh, yeah. I mean, most of the time, I think. I also, I before you head off, it, I would recommend that you... Um, there, There is a... I, I don't know where it is at this moment. It's been a while since I've sent anybody in this direction. But there may be some additional information that I don't know um, that may be privy to you, if you're interested, at the library. Uh, there's a grand library. Um, there's a library. Nolan gets very excited. That he there is a, there is a library. Yes. Who runs this library? Ooh, uh, I do not think anyone has been there in a very long time. Oh, it's abandoned. But, uh, yes, as far how as I'm aware. There? How do you get there? Yes. Well, I don't know. Oh. is the problem. Um, but you're headed to Harmon's Hill. Yes. Yes. You may be able to. Um, it's it's it's. The library is before my time, shall we say, and um... How long is your time, then? It's not polite to ask a lady your age. I didn't. Fair. It's, um, still, I think that um, the folks that you might write in, run into might have a little bit more uh, experience than me, and so you might, uh, they, they perhaps might have better information for you. Well... Yeah, well. It's hell, so I guess it would have books, right? Indeed. And <laughs> hey, you guys all like books, right? Ah, well, we all got our I liked differences. it. It was a good joke. I Thanks. liked it. This is just the wrong audience. Yeah. Anyway, well, this was fun, and if you ever happen to be back in the area, you're always welcome at Fort Knucklebone. Thank you for having us, Maggie. Yes. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, do you have anything well, else? Well, with your permission... I would like to make an insight check on you if you want to roll against me, or I just because I know that you just made like a, a deal out, out of character. I know this deal you made. I'm wondering if in character if Velma would notice that you were off in any way or behaving like mm. something, something's weighing on you. Well, but I don't want to PvP it, so I want to know how you would prefer to do here's it. Here's what I'll say instead while we're still at Fort Rocco Bone, while we're putting our stuff together and into the vehicle, um, I'll pull you all aside and be like, oh, so nice work out there today. Um, I, uh, did take a spill there, and, uh, my life briefly, you know, flashed before my eyes hey, and all that, and, You pulled uh, yourself back up, though. I was pretty impressed, honestly. Yes. No, that's, that's something more he's telling us. So he hasn't told us yet. Yes. About that. Um, the good news, I may have found, uh, a way to get out of here. Oh? The bad news is that it sort of involves... Uh, you know, putting my soul into play, into some sort of game that a devil might be running. I agreed to uh, something, which as soon as the stonework shows up, I will know the details of, but uh, nothing's given for free, it seems, in hell. So... I'm sorry if this brings us any sort of trouble in the future. Hey, look, Blue, if it means that you're still here instead of being crushed like we were all pretty sure you were, then I'd say it's, uh, it's worth it. Wait, sorry, I, I need to clarify. You said your soul is in play. Did you promise your soul to someone? Well, not in so many words, but okay. I mean, that's what they wanted originally. That is a and very course, important contract difference, and I wanted to make sure. That's a bad deal. I know a that thing is, or two about that. Yes, of course. That is a deal I did not make, and I would not have made. But I okay, talked. Well, some people have I talked them into a different deal, and uh, 
I'm on the hunt for a certain somebody. I assume the contract when I receive it will tell me uh, who I'm looking for, and as long as we deliver this being, um, I should be free of the of the contract. And how does that get us out of this place? Well, I mean, once we have that thing they want, then we can raise the stakes, as it were, if you know what I mean. Lucian! Well, I don't climb on the back of a cyclops every day. Uh. I had to find out if there was something we could do to break the rules a little, you know? Break the I like this side of I'm you. Just, Who are you? I'm just saying. I've never heard you say that such a phrase. Boy, hell has changed you fast. I'm now, almost tearing up a little bit. Break the rules, this one says. Cut it out, cut it out. Listen, keep your voices down. I don't know who can talk to other devils and from what distance. So let's keep this between us. But if you hear the name, if you hear the name Tybalt, that's who I spoke to. Tybalt. All right. All right. Well, we're glad you're okay. Thank you. Please well, don't run up another Cyclops back I, and get killed. I think once per lifetime is uh, the amount I'm willing to do that for. Hey. Just so you know, I was actually going to scare that thing away. You didn't have to climb up to it. Thank you. Hey. Don't listen to him. I thought it looked awesome. And I just smack you on the back. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty cool move. I wouldn't have somebody expecting a Zoyas to try and do, you know? Now my vest has a giant handprint on it. <laughs> so now I definitely need new clothes. Uh, yes. Uh, I felt very much like I was inspired by you. Ah, uh, wow. Um, that, that, that feels really good. It's not every day I make a stupid decision on purpose, is what I'm saying. Well... If I could inspire you to make a couple more stupid decisions on purpose, well then, I consider that a job well done. Let's get out of here. Okay. Best of you I've heard all day. So you all did take a short rest. Yes. So those of you that were not at full can take that benefit. You were at one, but took some healing here. Right, you so if you want to use some hit dice. I did. Which you did the, you get back her up to healing full? put me all the way back up. and you took no damage I got all my bardic inspiration back and you're good damage. Cool. do I get my spells back or no long no. rest short, oh and short also rest. if you took a short rest short right. rest then I actually do have um, song of rest at this level it is just a d6 so let me just go ahead and roll another actually no rest. all of you can take an extra d6 on your hit dice wasn't enough last time sure yeah so everyone um. Everyone who's used hit dice, you can roll an extra d6 on top of whatever you rolled and add that back to your total. Dope. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, so everyone just keep track of how many hit dice they have used. 13. Uh, 18 plus two is 20. Okay. I have one hit die left. Great. But I am at full HP. Yeah. Excellent news. Um, and you are able to uh, get on the road. Um, you are, do you have any other questions for, or any other business you want to do at Fort Knucklebone? No, no. other business, please. I think we're good here. I think it's time to get out of here. You're able to get on the road and head across the desert of Avernus in your brand new, well, to you, uh, vehicle, which, does it have a name? The Morrow. The Morrow. The Morrow uh, rumbles into the wastes of Avernus. You begin making the long, arduous 100, perhaps 200, perhaps 300, distance is weird in Avernus. Journey towards Haramon's Hill. Lulu uh, is uh, anticipatory and is very excited, sitting in the front seat. Who is driving, who is sitting shotgun, and who are in the back two seats? I'll be shotgun. I'll probably be driving. Actually, there's a back seat and a uh, turret. Also. Yeah, uh, I well, so I just imagine myself standing up like out of the top, like a. Uh, like you can a, also like hang Jeep. off the back. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I'll get the turret then. Okay, so turret, hang off the back. Lulu can be sitting in a seat if you prefer, um, and then you're in the front and you're sitting shotgun, mm -hmm. and uh, on the road again. Um. Everyone make sure you're using your safety belts. 
Right, I need to fix, yeah, I gotta write that down, actually. I should have clarified that I didn't want these made out of skin, because I'm pretty sure this oh, is skin. Yeah, they're, they look like they, yeah, I would, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Well, as, skin well as Astaroth pointed out, we've dealt with leather on a more, than a regular basis. True, basis. It's, true. Probably, it's probably leather belts. I'm gonna pretend. Way better. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's at least it's not, like, organs. Um, so you're yeah, driving for, organ. you're driving through sand, and I mean whatever this sand amalgamation is, right? And so it's not fast travel, but it's it's doable, and you're making your way. Um, again, the there is no discernible sun, there is no discernible light source. It's all red clouds and swirling royal in the sky, and really diffused light at all times. Um, I would say, uh, everyone roll perception checks. Um, you, wait, you're in the turret. You at advantage. Okay. That is a dirty 20. Okay. Dirty 20 as well. Okay. Also dirty 20. 16. Ah! Oh, wow. <laughs> Three dirty 20s. We could have changed We're our on it. Really <laughs> interesting. So, interesting. Um, you sense, I mean, it's it's all swirling and there are like dust eddies and, you know, dust devils <laughs> uh, sort of forming all around you at all different times. You're sort of in a salt flat at this point. Um, headed in the direction, and you can see hills in the distance, maybe a mile, maybe ten miles away. You have no way of knowing. But you do sense that there is a, uh, a, a looming dust storm, a hoodoo, coming across the plain, um, a, a Shiroko, if you will, uh, coming all the way uh, from, from one of the sides. Um, and it looks like it is you know, sort of like a cyclone coming all the way in, and it looks like it is, there's lightning inside of it, and lots of uh, various uh, uh, electro, electrical kind of storm happening. Simultaneously to this, as you look in your rear view mirror, or as you look behind you from atop your, uh, your vantage point, about, what would 20 times five be? A hundred, except for the three of you got 20. So I would say 300 feet behind you. There is a plume of red dust that billows, and uh, you can tell at the front of it there is an infernal war machine barreling behind you in your direction. And with your 20s, you're able to sort of pinpoint who is at the head of this particular, this is a demon grinder. It does appear to be trying to catch up to you. And it looks like there is a, a big, burly man with a huge war hammer atop, driving at the front with the face of a wild boar and the body of a burly person. And you can tell that there are other beastly beings driving and at the sides of this demon grinder. And based on what Mad Maggie told you. Can we do it in character? Sure. I believe we're about to meet the Ragadraga. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. They don't look so bad. <laughs> and that's where we'll call the episode this week. <laughs> So there's that. Cool. <laughs> Astronaut can't judge a bunch of people with weird animal faces and That's true. human mm -hmm. bodies, and right? You shouldn't <laughs> either. Maybe there it's always go. been the moon where you've been, and you actually would be human too if the moon went away. Yeah. So that was fun. Good fight. Good um, fight. Yeah. Man, yeah. we can deal a lot of damage. Boy, howdy, can you time. deal a lot yeah. of damage? Wrecked that. Them. That. Yeah. That Cyclops is a CR6 monster by itself. The priest is a CR2. That had total cover or had three quarters I mean, we're cover. At level six. That's actually a pretty relatively good monster for us. It was a well. The monster itself should yeah. have been uh, an even fight. Yeah. yeah. Well, with I, I the did caster. Roll, yeah. I did roll 
two critical hits. That's true. true. <laughs> My yeah. first yeah. couple of attacks. That was great fun. Yeah. Man, that fight That fight was, I, I thought that was going to be a harder fight, and it really, I mean, I, I downed you. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what you say. Because um, I wanted you to. Sure. I didn't counter that second heal. It's true, you didn't. thing to stay alive. It's true. <laughs> it's true, it's true. All planned. Um, but uh, but Ragged Dragon might have some some words to say yeah. if they catch up to you. Maybe we're speeding. We should slow down. Mm. <laughs> There you go. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in tonight here on The Broken Pact. Um, we are here every Monday night for the foreseeable eight weeks um, uh, doing this here program, and we thank you so much for joining us. Tell the folks where they can find you. Hi, everybody. My name is Jordan Pridgen. You can find me on Twitter at Jordan Pigeon, where sometimes I tweet. Uh, and uh, also, well, uh, normally on Fridays here at Saving Throw, but we just wrapped up our second season of Wild Cards ETU. Uh, so go catch up on the old episodes of that, and then you'll be ready when, when the new ones come. In, like, November. Hey, you can find me on Twitter at Riley J. Silverman or Instagram at Riley Silverman. You can catch me on Wednesday nights on the, uh, the Rat Queens RPG, on Hyper RPG. And also uh, on Wednesday, the season finale of my Doctor Who actual play uh, podcast, The Game of Rassilon, is going to drop. So you can listen Oops. to that if you've been catching up, or you can catch up with the whole season now, because we have an entire season. And one last thing, I want to give a shout-out to my friends, the the... the the Library Bards, who just released a brand new album. Yeah. That's the same last week I forgot Ooh. to. We were so focused on Extra Life, which is great. But uh, Library Bards, who are, I think, friends of the channel, yeah, and also absolutely. friends of all of ours, and yeah. great people. Real so they have quick, an album called, uh, we got to uh, gotta do the Library Bards. Like this. There we go. Yeah. I don't know this. You don't know so, this one? Uh, yeah, they, have, they, they are, They for those who don't know, they are a parody, they're a music group that do uh, parody songs that are all nerdy, and they have an awesome song about D&D, so check that out. Mm-hmm. Yay. Nice. And they just had a new album called Bombarded. Yes, it just came out last, <laughs> last week, two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, you can catch me all the socials at double GXG. It's the word double, then GXG. And uh, Bridget said the thing about wild cards, so I think I'm good. Other than the race for Avernus, which we'll probably talk I'll about. I'll catch so that. Yeah. Cool. All good. Hello. You can find me on Twitter at Ashlyn Rose. You can also find me on Instagram at RAR. It's Ashlyn, where I actually just posted a new animation I recorded, so you should definitely check yeah. that out. It's really cool. Nice. Um, and yeah, aside from that, I'm on Twitch occasionally, usually reading through the books. Uh, Twitch.tv slash... Ashlyn underscore Rose. Great. Is that tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Oh, something else I forgot to mention, <laughs> but we mentioned earlier, is uh, that tomorrow we have a very special Mana Dorks uh, at 1 p.m. on twitch.tv slash saving throw show. So come join in there to see me and Stephen Pope, uh, who will be the special guest man dork because Grav has a job during the day. Well, I have to go Blair. to the office, Astrock. I'm sorry. Because he made a deal with a devil. He and did. It was called Capitalism. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The so we worst, get to actually play with like all the new Throne of Eldraine cards. Oh, it's so exciting. It'll be That's so right. much fun. Oh, so jealous. Oh, hi, everybody. It's the Internet's Ruben Bressler. You can follow me everywhere at M-O-X-R-E-U-B-Y. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, thank you to Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and & Dragons for allowing us to keep making this. Thank you to uh, Phil DeLuca, Emmett Fury, and John Wells, without whom I would be totally lost. Um, we would also like for you to please follow the hashtag race into Avernus um, and help us race into Avernus. Dungeons and Dragons is running a race between five of the shows on this here channel. And should we be so lucky as to win our race, uh, the players that you see here will get to have their likenesses and characters in a future Dungeons and Dragons official product, which would be super cool. Um, I would also like to thank Benevolent Overlord, Dom Zook. Um, fresh off of his uh, trip to Egypt, which may or may not have been a work visit in order to get more research into mummification. Curse! Um, that, is, that can neither be confirmed nor denied. Curse. Um, the, uh, oh, yeah, the Race into Avernus ends October 1st, so we actually do have uh, two episodes. Nope, just one. Just one? Just one? Just one more episode. episode. Oh, yeah. we have one episode, but we sneak it right in there at the mm-hmm. end. Uh, to be able to uh, get that extra. So all those donations go to the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals uh, for all of those. So please do uh, donate at bit.ly slash bp underscore extra life 2019. 
and perhaps put your soul in a coin, perhaps give a body swap episode. Oh no. <laughs> give us, give us a re-roll. Devil's re-roll, yeah. Lazarus liquid, I think is one of the things that we got. And, and support uh, and a that. great cause. And yeah. support a great cause. Lazarus liquid to save you when that happens. It's true. Yep. Well, well, support a great cause, but also sure help us happen. win. Right. Yeah. And of course, thank you to our sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com, Norse Foundry, and Elderwood Academy um, for all of their great support of the show. Tune in next week to see if our team in their morrow makes it to the next tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>